What's up, everybody? Saturday night chill fest. Good to see a whole bunch of people in here. What a great, perfect time to talk about cards, to talk about baseball. There's a lot of sweet stuff happening in the league. Exciting, exciting stuff. Holy Reds. I've been talking about them lately, and yesterday was maybe the best game of the year. It was incredible. Ellie hit for the cycle. Votto had two home runs. I was like, I'm watching the game with my jaw open. Like, how could this get any better? There was such an excitement and enthusiasm and electricity in Cincinnati. It was incredible. It was incredible to watch. If you guys haven't been watching the Reds, what are you doing? They are doing things. I mean, they won 12 in a row. They lost today. But I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking about, you know, I got to get a Reds hat. I got I to get something. Maybe I get a McLean jersey. They don't even have, like, you got to get them custom made at this point. I went through the same thing with my Soto. Padres. You know, it takes a little bit for them to get that out. I think that Soto took, God, it took like two months to get that thing in. I ordered it and, you know, that it just takes some time. But I didn't see any. I went to Fanatics. I had a Groupon. And the Groupon was, I tried to, I wanted to use it for cards. It was like spend 60 bucks and get $100 in Fanatics cash. So then I did that. And I went to the Fanatics website, tried to buy cards with it. And it said, no, you can't use this on cards. So it's been sitting there. Apparently those things expire. I don't know if you guys knew that, but the Groupons, I guess they expire. I don't know. Spend that much money. Why would they expire? But I, I, I. so luckily it was, it's going to expire on June 30th. I just so happened to like find it, check it out. But I got, I got an Ellie like shirt jersey looking thing. It's not like the real jersey. And I got a Reds hat, and I also got a Diamondbacks hat, like a like a flag. It's the American flag, red, white, and blue on the D-backs. I think it says USA on the side of it, too. So I'm getting loaded, getting loaded up with all the best, all the best rookie gear, like I always do. On the side screen, I've got Washington at San Diego. They're up one nothing already, which is frustrating because I picked up... Lugo again. Wait a minute. Oh, that's for tomorrow. Yeah, Lugo's pitching tomorrow. I'm like, who the heck is Matt Waldron? We got Matt Waldron on the mound. One inning pitch, nine er, nine ERA already. But Soto doing the shuffle. Tatis is one of the hottest players in the league. We're going to talk a little bit about Tatis. So here we're going to look at the player raider, the ESPN player raider right now. This is important for baseball card collecting to know who's hot and you don't necessarily buy when players are hot. It's a good time to sell. You buy low, you sell high. It's hard to do. It's extremely hard to do. That's why there's, it's the same with the stock market. That's why there's so few people that are successful at these kind of things because no one wants to sell when a guy's super hot, but it's probably the best time to do it. I'm pulling that up right now. I'll answer all your questions, all of them that I can see. Make sure you hit the like button. Let's get up to 100 likes right away. Please hit that thing. All right, I'm pulling up the player raider. Okay. This doesn't include today's game. If it, it, at least probably number one, if you include today's game. Top players in the last 15 days. Let's check this out together. We got to go got to go here and we got to go here okay check this out surprise surprise I know everybody's shocked Shohei Otani incredible year he's having 25 bombs already and 10 stolen bases while batting 300 50 runs 59 RBIs oh my and look at number two Corbin Carroll Everybody's saying Acuna is going to win MVP. 
but look at these numbers. Okay, so Acuna's got him in a couple of different categories, but tied with home runs. They both have 16. RBIs, Acuna's got him by a few. Stolen bases, he's got him. So Acuna, well on his way to an MVP, but look at Nando. Look at Nando the last several days, the last couple of weeks, just crushing. Look at this. Two for four, two for five, two for three, one for three, three for four, two for four, one for three, three for five. Doing it all. Stolen bases. He's doing it all. He's Nando. He's back. 556 slugging, 359 on base, 13 steals, 15 homers. He's second in the American League in war. Some other guys, Justin Turner, I told you he was hot. Corey Seager turning it back on. Michael Harris, he's back. He's crushing. Look at these. Five for five. A five for five game helps. And a four for four with a bomb. Four for four with a bomb and four RBIs and a stolen base. Five for five with a bomb. Three and three. He's putting up all the stats. He's batting ninth on an exceptional team. Absolutely loaded. Where's Ellie? Oh, here he is. Look at look at his game log. Who is this guy? Impressive. Hits for the cycle, goes four for five, three runs, a home run, four RBIs, and a stolen base. Dude stealing bases like it's easy. Batting 361, a cool 361 with seven stolen bases. Unbelievable. Some guys you might not think about. Tavares. Gotta go down a little bit to see. But these are the last, this is the last 15 days batters. Hitting stats. A couple home runs in here and some good games. Stolen bases. Tay Oscar. By the way, Julio today. Have a game. But, you know, Tay Oscar's lighting it up. Mariners are starting to heat up. Go down a little bit more. Gunner's up here. Manny's getting back into the swing. Christian Walker. Cattell Marte, Story Ruiz has 39, 39 stolen bases already. He's going to have 70 stolen bases or more. And look at, like, look at these strikeouts. They're, he's not striking out that much. He has a couple bad games. He's really young. But kid is good. Don't sleep on a Story Ruiz. Look at Gunner. Two for four, one for five, two for four. Look at this little stretch right here. That's a nasty stretch. Three for five, three for five, two for five, three for three, one for three. Home runs left and right. A couple of stolen bases in there. Striking out a little bit. Not too bad, though. What do you guys think? Who's your guy right now? Morrell having a good year. Ricky don't want to hear about 39 stolen bases. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who would you comp Ellie to? There are no comps. Switch hitter with power and speed. He can bat for average. He's got all the tools. There's never been anybody like him. What do you, Mickey Mantle? That's that's like blasphemy. But and it's way too early. But from both sides of the plate and can steal at will and. Dude, he hit a ball. He should have had two home runs. Instead of the cycle, he should have had two home runs. He hit a line drive off the top of the wall. It was like 120 mile ex exit velocity. Eric Davis. Eric Davis is awesome. But, dude, Ellie is. We've never seen anything like Ellie. We got two guys in the league right now that we have never seen anything like before. Shohei and Ellie. So I'm going to leave it wide open today. We're going to do whatever. Whatever you want. We can talk about whatever you want. There's no stress. There's no pressure. I want to talk to you about, about my friend's website again because this is an invaluable resource. It's free. Why not? Prospect Hot List. Check it out. And pull it up real quick. Prospecthotlist.com. Hopefully Cubby comes in the chat. He can answer any questions. Right here. 
the donate button is key. Just throw them a couple bucks. You can go to the hot list. You can go to the Bowman releases, prospect list, advanced filtering. Let's just check out the hot list. Hitters. Last seven days. Oh, Ellie De La Cruz. Yeah. Crazy. Look at this age differential. This is a big one right here. Age differential. Minus seven and a half. 7.8. That means he's just like so much younger than everybody else. But of course, he's in the majors right now. So, um, Dion Jorge, 20 years old, 1839 OPS. He's this dude is crushing it right now. And he's got eight walks to go with it. He's got a home run, bunch of hits. Manuel Rodriguez, but I've had my eye on this dude for a while. He's in high A. He's going to be moving up quick. He's really good. So you can go here. This last seven days. We want to look at the last 14 days. Who's the hottest guy? Whatever you want. Last 30 days. All levels combined. Or do you want to just look at AAA? This is the greatest source. Let's go to Bowman releases. Okay. This is the thing that everybody is curious about. Myself included. What year do the guys come out of? When can you get Ellie card? Or like, where can you get Ellie cards out of? Where can you get Cheerios? Where do you get Bobby? Well, here you go. It goes all the way back to 2019 Bowman draft. Let's just look at 2023 and see how the guys are doing here. I like to sort by OPS because it's just a nice, nice catch-all stat. Diego Hernandez. You got to look at plate appearances, though. Okay, so he's only got eight plate appearances. It's too small of a sample size. Let's move up right here. Michael Arroyo. 57 plate appearances. He's got a 1250 OPS. A couple of bombs. Dominic Canzone. Another guy. He's 25 years old, though. We want to look at over here at age 18, 20, 25, 18, 19, 19. Junior still tearing it up with a 982. Solano. A bunch of guys you don't know about, you've never heard of. Guess what? There's an opportunity there. 18-year-old Ruben Santana. 928, 60 plate appearances. Some of these guys have a lot of plate appearances, and these numbers are starting to pan out. Go to the website and play around. But I got my PC out, some of the cards out, so I just wanted to see if you guys wanted to look at some cards with me. It's always fun going back through the, the collection. I always forget about half the players that I collected, but... I'm going to answer some questions in the chat. Should I buy a Tatis rookie for $100? That's not a specific enough. That's not specific enough, Natalie, because there's so many different Tatis rookies. Do you want to see some? I've got a lot of them. I can show you like every Tatis rookie there is pretty much. 2022 Tops update. Hanger case for $1,300. Thoughts? Let me do the math. $1,300 divided by 64. Equals twenty bucks a piece. It's a good price. It's a good price point. Those are those were twenty five bucks a piece for quite a while. I mean, think of it this way: from a retail standpoint, it'll cost you twelve, thirteen bucks after you factor in tax, right off the floor. So you're you're paying a small premium for a great product. I'd do it. I can open some update. I want to see what you guys are thinking. I can open up anything I have here. Do a little personal collection rip should i sell the corbin carroll ssp golden mirror hold on to it robert it depends on a lot of factors what's the condition of the card um <clears throat> if it's not in great condition you could consider just selling it right now raw if it's in great condition you're going to want to send that thing away to psa get it graded then sell it uh you want to sell high typically i don't know how high this guy could get a lot of times People cannibalize each other's hobby as well. So I just get this feeling right now that with Ellie coming up, he doesn't have any rookie cards, so he's not cannibalizing yet. We got this whole year to feed off Corbin. Maybe the best time to sell Corbin Carroll would be when he wins right around the time when he wins rookie of the year or when he's guaranteed to win rookie of the year. Basically guaranteed. If he's looking like he could win MVP in another month or so, you might want to hold off because if he wins MVP and rookie there, you never know who gets hurt and goes down. Like if Acuna goes down, Corbin Carroll is going to be the front runner at this point, I would think. So those are some things you got to think about. 
Wong is here, and he says for every trout, there's a thousand busts. That's right. Update, update, update. I can rip some update. Do you have any Ellie cards? I do. I can show you my best Ellie card. It's not the best. I mean, I don't have a ton. Sapphire, PSA 10, sick card. Put him on the stage. Why is he in this? Get him in a proper fitting soft sleeve. From cardshells.com. Oh yeah, look how much better that looks. Put him up on the stage. He deserves a little FaceTime. What else we got going on? How much is it going for? I don't know. I can look it up. I can look up prices for you guys too. That's a big question everybody has. Um, 2022 Bowman Sapphire Ellie PSA 10. We can look up pop reports. I can pull up PSA. Okay, 2023. Uh, it's... Let's see, the last one that sold. Sold for 200 bucks. It's not crazy. But then the one that sold before that sold for $326. So kind of all over the place. There's only, wait, what's that one? 320, LE 2022 Sapphire PSA 10. Yeah. Dylan with a $5 super check. Striker, do the Reds make the playoffs? Yeah. Yep. Here's what I want to see. Hold on. Let me let me pull up the standings too. The Reds are incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Reds are going to win the division. I'm calling it right now. You can hold me to this. The Reds are going to win the division, and I would love to see... Reds Diamondbacks in the playoffs. We got here's here's who's good. I mean, dude, can the Diamondbacks stay on top of the Padres and the Dodgers and the Giants? The Giants are 44 and 33. Look at this. Look at these standings. Diamondbacks 46 and 32. Running away with it. Look at the differential over here in the NL West. Big time differential. And then you have the Rockies. Padres. I don't understand. I don't understand it. But yeah, D-backs, Reds, Braves. It's going to stay that way. I don't know about the AL West. I mean, the Rangers, look at this differential, plus 154. That's an insane run differential. But the Astros are all, I'm like, we got a bunch of good teams over here. So this one's up for grabs. The AL Central's up for grabs, I guess, but I think the Twins are significantly better than all. Look at it, plus 32 on the differential. I think they're significantly better than everybody else. The Guardians will give them a run for their money, but Tigers are trash, White Sox are trash, Royals are trash. That's all there is to it. It's just the truth. And then the AL East, every single team has a positive run differential. Poor Red Sox, 40 and 38. And they're not going to make it. Blue Jays struggling a little bit. I watched the Blue Jays game yesterday. And the umpire was so bad. Like against the Blue Jays. He had to have had something 
something uh, like a grudge against him or something. I was going to make a video about it, but I ran out of time. So I got all the brakes sorted and shipped out today. Usually I don't get them out because it's not a business day. But I, I, when I do the brakes early, I have extra time. Orioles 46 and 29, but the Rays are just so far ahead. I could see the Rays losing some games, but how is anybody going to catch him? I don't know how anybody can catch up to him. Is Joey Votto a first ballot? I don't know if he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, but he's a Hall of Famer. And being back, and he looks he looks good out there. He looks like he's still kind of in his prime. And he's that veteran presence that they really need on that team, full of young guys. He is so important to anchor that team. And they got him batting like sixth. The Reds are so stacked. They're so stacked. You, If you look at the OPS on that team, top to bottom, every single one of the players on that team have like, like a really nice OPS. I think probably ha- at least half of the guys on the team have an 800 plus OPS. Imagine if the Giants had Rondon, Judge, and Correa. Yeah. Reds, no pitchers. Unproven rookies and Vado. Um, Hunter Green is a boss. Andrew Abbott looks really good. And Nick Lodolo. They actually have three really good young pitchers. But what they need is an ace, a veteran ace. They need to pick up like Stroman. I think they should pick up Stroman if that's possible. If he's on the, like, he's just, he's pitching out of his mind and he's a vet. Um, he's been around that I think he'd be great for that rotation. They've got too many, too much talent and not enough awesome pitching. They've got enough pitching to just kind of hang around and compete, but they need a little bit of help. Definitely. Joey Gallo, Hall of Famer. No, nope. Not even close. Any trout rookies? No, no, but I do have this. I do have this, so do I have any trout rookies? Probably. But I'm not opening that. That's a wax box for the PC. That's that's a That's staying in the PC unopened. Green and Lodolo hurt. How yeah. I mean I'm if we're talking are we talking this year or are we talking about like as far as their pitching. I wasn't really talking about winning at all this year. They could. If they got a couple of... I mean, how long's Green out for? The Green Hunter. Not Hunter Green. <laughs> Hunter Green. The Reds gave him a six-year, $53 million contract. Uh, he's on the IL with hip discomfort. At least it's just hip discomfort. So it's not that big of a deal for that. Lodolo is a different story. Lodolo. Lodolo is not out for that long either. I mean, he'll be back in August. So they'll have Green, Abbott, and Lodolo back for a playoff push. And also, Graham Ashcraft, you know, his numbers aren't good, but I think he's got pretty good stuff. Luke Weaver, not going to get it done. At all. What keeps Votto from being a first ballot Hall of Famer? I'll tell you what. Uh, his war. He's a borderline Hall of Famer. You can argue, people argue that all the time. Is I th- I like Vado and I think he's a Hall of Famer, but others will argue that. Let's look up his baseball reference. I'll show you. Sixty four point eight career WAR. That's borderline Hall of Fame. You get above fifty and you got a chance. You in the sixties, you'll probably make it, but there's no guarantees. So what are his accolades? One-time MVP, six-time All-Star, Gold Glover. One-time Gold Glover. Borderline. He's great. Look at, like, in his prime, 
Look at all this black in his prime. Just as a snapshot. Amazing. Like, I love seeing all this. Another thing is, you know, he came in, he's 23 years old, so he's only got 17 years in the league. But he's going to finish out this year strong, get another war, couple, maybe one to two, three war, add that to the mix. If he gets up to 70, that's almost a guaranteed Hall of Famer. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Others will argue, as far as a first ballot Hall of Famer goes, Depends on how much longer he plays and how much, you know, if they if they win a World Series, it's not the most important thing, but it's it's another one of these awards up here, you know. Usually Hall of Famers, up here it's loaded with accolades. Multiple MVPs, multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, you know, maybe a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances, all-star MVP, you know, World Series MVP, stuff like that. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Hey, Peds, what's up, man? Would love to see this. Yeah, I got, we're going to look at some of my PC. What do you guys think? My better, some of my more vast things. Here are the, here are the options. Put it in the chat. Hit the like button and then put it in the chat what you want to see. I got a real nice Boba Shack rookie collection. I've got an amazing Tatis collection. I've got... A whole bunch of like autos and relics and just a whole boatload of rookies from the last several years uh we could look at some of my some of my vintage stuff which isn't that great but i do have some we could look at my slabs i've got a pretty decent vlad collection vladdy rookies uh i've got a lot of like prospect stuff i've got some nice julios bobbies I don't know. We could just start going through it. You want to see Bo? Got a ton of Bo. Like, best autos. Let's look at Bo. These are just the ungraded ones. Oh my God. All right, here we have a Bowman. 2020 Bowman. This isn't a rookie. There's probably some non rookies in here too. But I like the hot box. 2021 Heritage. Yeah, 2021 Heritage hot box parallel. This is the Topps Chrome update. Bichette rookie debut. This is standard Inception. I think that's 21. Yep, 2021 Inception. Here we have a 2019 Bowman. This is a sweet one. Remember these? The 2030 collection. I love that one. It looks so cool. That set was so sweet. 2030. Baby J's. This is Archives, I think. I think that's Archives. And then here's the 80, what year? 83 throwback. <laughs> Handful of those. It's in the chrome. Tops chrome. Standard Series 1, Bo Bichette rookie. And if you're, if you're wondering, like, what one to get, we can talk about that, too. You got a Stadium Club Chrome Shohei Beam Team Auto. Can't find a price on it. I can find your price, maybe. Uh, let's see. So Series 1 and then Tops Chrome. Basically, this is like the upgraded version of this. A little bit of Don Ross now playing. Plenty of 2019 Bow. This was the first time that I ever had really known about Bow and then started collecting his cards. This is from the same... 2019 Bowman ready for the show. Don Russ rated rookie. Lots of these. Lots of these. Paper and chrome. Oh, this is going back 2017. Bo Bichette. A couple of paper. So this is his rookie in Heritage. And I didn't like it as much because it features 
Anthony K, some scrub pitcher on here. So I had to upgrade. I'll show you the upgraded version of this in a little bit. And then this is the Gypsy. Gypsy Queen Bow. Straight up. Nothing special about that one. But you can get a whole bunch of different variations of that in, gy in Gypsy. I think I have a... I probably have some more. I, I might have a green. Who are your top prospects in Bowman? I made a little video about it, Harrison. Go back and watch, but I really like uh, Junior Caminero. He's crushing it right now. Cam Collier is good. Debut. Straight up 2020 update. Another Bowman. Oh, this is a cool one. Refractor, number to 499 from 2019 Bowman. That's cool. Ooh, look at this one. Heritage Miners. New Hampshire. Fisher Cats. 2018 Heritage Miners. Pretty, pretty unique one. Steel City, what's up? Any PC cards you're hunting? Uh, yeah. I want an Ellie first auto, but now is not the time to buy one. I'm going to come out with... Uh, I'm going to rip some... 2022 Bowman Jumbos. So tomorrow I should have a video out uh, with a 2022 Bowman Jumbo. I want an Ellie Auto. 22 Bowman is crazy, and it's it's gone up in price quite a bit, but it's still, for what it is, it's still affordable. I predict 2022 Bowman Hobby Box is getting up to around, in the short term probably, we're looking at four 450 in the short term. And right now they're like three twenty-five. You may be able if you if you hunt, you may be able to find them for cheaper. But every day they're going up. So if you're gonna get in, get in quick. Also, blaster boxes are pretty good, pretty good, and those are the things that take the longest to go up in price. Not blasters necessarily, but retail. Usually the the twenty-four count retail boxes are the last to go up in price out of all the retail. But blasters are good, and they're still I think they're forty bucks a piece now. Stargazing. This is a cool one. Top 100. 2017 top 100 with Bo. Stargazing Prism. 30th anniversary insert from 2019 Bowman. Bowman Platinum. Doesn't have the rookie on there. This is this is 2019 Bowman Platinum before his rookie season. Sterling. And I think that, yeah, 2019 Sterling. A lot of that. Another ready for the show. Not a very flattering photo of Bo right there. Another one of these. I like that one with Vlad on it. Because that's the, the same photo for his his no number rookie. So that's a, that's a sweet one. Also, Nate Pearson, who was a great prospect and kind of fell off. Do you have any Jackson Chirio? I do. You want to see? <laughs> Everybody... We're going to be hopping all around tonight, so just be ready for that. What's the best rips for guys on a budget? Retail stuff. Uh, if I were you, I'd get blaster boxes of 2023 Bowman, 2022 Bowman. Blasters are still affordable. And also any retail format of Series 2, top Series 2, pretty pretty cheap. You found 22 Bowman for 279. That's the best price you'll find it at, Dave. I haven't seen it for less than that. Thoughts on 23 Don Russ? Fun budget rip or mid? Less than mid, Floyd fan. Appreciate the super chat, man. I'm not touching it. I, I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Baseball highlights asking who's your favorite MLB player? Currently, like right this second, Ellie De La Cruz. I can't get enough of him. He's single-handedly saving my fantasy season. He's so exciting, explosive, five-tool player. Not only five-tool player, but elite at every tool. Yeah, I got some bow autos. We'll get to him, Shag. Show you a couple of Cheerios. Couple of nice ones. Got the Mojo, PSA 10. 
So you get these Mojo first, uh, the Mega Boxes. 2022 Bowman Mega Boxes have gone up quite a bit. They were 50. I think they were 50, right? Now they're 65. This is just in the last few days. And then I've got the first edition Sky Blue. In a PSA 10 gem. He's the next one. Multiple tools. He's got speed and power. And he's young. Torillo's the next guy that's going to come up, light the world on fire. You watch. Back to Bo, like father, like son. With Cavan. Roll call from Big League. Another Big League spring has sprung. I've got like every Bo rookie, man. I'm telling you. Ellie's triple last night to complete the cycle. Had me cheering at home. I know, me too, dude. I was like freaking out. I'm getting tingly thinking about it. He's so good. He's bringing... Yeah, Dave, I know. That's what I was just talking about. The the electric atmosphere at the stadium. Everybody hung out after the game. I watched the post-game show, and everybody was freaking out, man. Since he has not had something like this since the Big Red Machine. And I, I'm glad. I'm happy for him. Boba Ch- oh, here's the here's the orange parallel out of Big League. Another one of these. Look at look at we're going all the way back. This is 2019 uh, tops debut. Got a little Mojo refractor. 2019 Bowman. More base. A couple more base. Another prism. Heritage. That's uh that's not his rookie though. 2021. Now playing. Another baby Jays. Vlad snuck his way in here somehow. Somehow Vlad got involved. I got a different area for Vlad. Wonder if Ellie will be an update. Nope. He will not be. Your son was there. Wow. Love Ellie and McLean. I know I'm a big McLean guy too. McLean's on my fan. All these guys that are on my fantasy team. That's how I become like big fans of guys usually. Either I pull their cards out of packs or I I'm something to do with fantasy. Like they're they're hooking me up. So I like watch them intently. And then when they do well, it gives me like this, you know, dopamine hit or something. And it's, it's awesome. Unleashed. A cool unleashed bow. We got another rookies down Russ. This was a sweet insert from Bowman Platinum 2019 Prismatic Prodigies. Really cool design. New Age Performers 2019 Heritage. Another one of those Heritage. Not even a third of the way through the bows. I haven't heard that, Theo. Ellie's story about where he's from. Make sure you hit that like. We got 400 people in the chat. Favorite MLB team? I like the Padres. I like the Blue Jays. The Reds. I like the Orioles. And uh, the Tigers, I guess. (laughs) You got any 2021 Bowman draft you can rip? Nope. No ma loves ya. Ask Striker, do you have any advice for building your channel? I have a new one. And it's going well, but since you're the one who inspired it, I'd really appreciate any thoughts. Thank you. Yeah, I got advice. So how committed do you want to be? How much do you want to put into it? You want to dedicate your life to it or you just want to do it for fun? What's your goals? Figure out your goals. Why are you doing it? Be yourself, number one. Have have a positive energy, electricity about you that translates through the screen, but it has to be real. Can't fake it. People can tell when you fake it and they don't want to watch fake. They want to watch real. Be yourself and but bring something unique to the table. Give. Give something. I'm not, I'm not talking about give cards away. Give your time away. 
spend time coming up with something that people can benefit from and then just give it, offer it for free. And then people appreciate that and they'll watch you. Learn from your mistakes. Ask people for advice like you're doing right now. Watch your videos after you make them and use the feedback from, from people to get better. You're not perfect right now and you'll, you'll never be perfect. You got to keep growing and learning and trying to be better. That's the advice. Don't yell on camera. Well, if it's real, like if you really feel the reason to yell for a big hit or something, don't hold back. But don't yell because you think that that's like going to, I don't know, be something that people want to see. Some people do, and it works for some people. Tag grading. They sent me... They sent me a, a slab. I don't know where it is, but I thought I like the, the the design of the slabs. They look nice. You have an Ellie to 150 from a Mega PSA 10. Nice. Be yourself unless you're a tool, then be somebody else. Even tools get views. If you're a tool, embrace it. You'll get people that like it. You got to just be yourself, though. And embrace it. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to like, oh, this guy's good. I'm going to act like him. People will see that and they will not, not like it. And don't get discouraged. It takes a long time to build. It takes, like I said, I'm, I've almost put a thousand videos. A thousand. I'm almost at a thousand videos. 38,000 subscribers. It takes a long time to build. People don't hit that subscribe button willy-nilly. It takes a lot of effort to get someone to subscribe to your channel for free. So don't get discouraged. Just if you enjoy it, do it if you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it. If it becomes a grind and it's just like, Ugh, I got to make a video. Uh, so you're doing something wrong. It's not. It's not, it's not working out. Trust me, like I feel that way sometimes. So just take some time off, clear your head, step away from the cards for a while, step away from the YouTube for a while, and then when you feel inspiration, go with it. That's that's a huge piece of advice right there. Inspiration, if you if you feel inspired and you just let it go, what a waste. Just you got to take the first step when you feel that inspiration kicking in. Write it down. Whatever you're thinking, if you have a good idea, write it down. You may not get to it, but at least once you write it down, it's in your mind and you've put pen to paper and you've actually turned your idea into something physical if you write it down. And then you can take things from there. It's really overwhelming sometimes and it takes a really long time to make a good video and to to put it all together, to edit it, to upload it. It takes a long time, but... It's rewarding. And if you actually get inspired to do something, odds are that comes from a place of, uh, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it where, where inspiration comes from, but you know, you can't always act on it, dude. I've got, let me just show you some of my pages. inspiration pages how much of that have i gotten to some but at least i took the step to write it down instead of like just like i got a great idea a good example yesterday i, I was in multiple I, I had so much inspiration yesterday and i started writing it down but the problem was is i had stacks of cards to sort for the breaks and i had to get that done first so i wrote down what i wanted to do and then it got to be late and I didn't have time to make the videos I wanted to do, so maybe next time. But at least I tried, you know. You gotta get your responsibilities in order first. Here's a sweet bow. Diamond Kings. I can't remember what this is called, but this is a... I gotta get that in a different... You guys remember what this one's called? Every time I show this off, somebody comments on it. I 
don't know. I can't remember what that one's called. I think it's a pretty tough hit, though. Floyd fan with a $5. Pets taught me something about streaming. If you promise to shotgun a beer, everyone will hit the like button. Whoa. Is that what I need to do? <laughs> yeah, I should be live on Twitch, too. Live on Twitch. Let me drop you some links. Because I'm live on four platforms right now. And I would love it if you guys took a second and subscribed on the other platforms. I'm on Rumble. Drop you a Rumble link. Rumble's like a YouTube alternative that has more free speech. Just in case. You never know when you get kicked off, man. These platforms kick you off for no reason all the time. And then your whole life is like, uh-oh, now what? I'm on Kick. If you haven't gone to Kick yet, Kick is taking care of their content creators better than anybody else. No Ma with a 1999. Thank you again and bless you for all the joy and information you bring to the hobby. Well, thank you for the generous donation. I appreciate it. Very much. eBay store. If you want to buy a card, if you like the channel, want to support it by buying a card, that's sweet too. Everybody wins that way. I got best offer on everything. Just dropped a link in the chat. Shoot me an offer. I'm willing to negotiate. If you want to get in a break, join the Patreon crew. Here's a link. The Slammers get notified when I list a break, and they can buy in if they want. Live on Twitch right now. Live on Facebook. There's a link to the Twitch. There's a link to Facebook. We can be friends on Facebook. And last, Teespring. You could buy a shirt. Dude, these shirts are sweet. I just got mine. I bought some of my own shirts. The Batbreaker shirts are awesome. Also. Strike four shirts in first edition. These ones are not going to be available forever. I'm going to discontinue them so that they're kind of cool, collectible. This is the most popular one right now. They look sweet. And the, the shirts are nice too. Comfort soft shirts. Link is in the chat. Let's keep going with the bow show. Oops. All right. Now and then, north of the border, Bo Bichette. That is a 21. No, that's a that's a 2020. I think this is a... What is that? Heritage Miners? 2020? But no, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Rated rookie, prism rookie, some more flagship stuff. We got the decades next insert. Another chrome 83. Or is that 85? What year is that? 85. 2020 Bowman rookie. Another prism. Another one of those. This is a cool one. This is the Pandora parallel rated rookie. Number to 99. That's a sweet bow. If that was, and that's awfully close. I might send that in. It's awfully close. We'll put them in a maybe pile. Now playing from Don Russ. Got a bunch of Don Russ stuff here. Highlights, two different versions of this. You can see the difference. Neither of them are numbered. Gold Future Stars, number to 2021. And here come the Bowman. That's a sweet one, too. The rookies, and that's numbered to 999. Wow, we're, first, we're through the first stack. One of three.
Yeah, they're just trying to preserve those pitchers, Chris, isn't it? Like, just Tommy John every day. They're just trying anything to preserve the lifespan of these guys. Oh, here we have an archives. 2020 archives, Bo. Another flagship. 21 Don Ross. I like these. Rookie of your favorite. 2020 Bowman. 21 bow, 21 update. That's a cool one. Bowman's best. Tops Chrome. What is that? I can't remember what that is exactly. Oh, well. Oh, Lou Bob. Lou Bob snuck in. There's my Lou Bob collection. No wonder the bow stack looks so big. And Jordan's in here. Aha. Aha. Jordan's and bows and Roberts. Ooh, look at that Jordan rookie. Didn't know I had that. That's why I love doing this. I might have to send that jewel away. We'll put him in the maybe pile. What? Okay, we're changing gears. Did not know I had two X-Fractor Jordan rookies. Okay, I'm going to send those off. Hold on. Hold on. We got to go through the Jordans. We're on a side street right now. What? What is good? A lot of, a lot of different ones. Oh, that's a cool one. Another Pandora to 99. She's a little thin on the right. Otherwise, I might send that in. Home run challenge. Ooh, that one's cool. To 9.99. We're taking a detour. That's sweet. Remember these? It's got like a piece of plastic, clear plastic over that. Kind of like that. Commemorative Tops coin card. Oh. Prismatic. Worst cards ever. A card of a of a man of an on-demand card. Ooh, that's a refractor. Okay. Detour. Back to the bow show. Look at this one. Black border. That's numbered to two ninety nine. That's a pretty nice card. It's just got two little tiny, tiny white ticks. Combination of being just a little thick over there means that that's probably like an eight. Fortunately, Cliff with a nine ninety nine super chat tip for the dealer. Appreciate the box o base. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Build some set gaps. Pass some along to young collectors. Keep crushing and pulling fire. Oh, that's good to hear. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. Matthew with an eight-month membership. Lou Bob still collectible or time to give up? I'm not collecting him right now. Uh, he just needs to stay healthy. And like, let's, let's just take a look at his stats. Seems like he can never say stay healthy. Luis Robert Jr. Dude, he's actually crushing this year. He's got a 3.1 war already. 10.5 career war. 25 years old. 
Okay, he's not crushing, but he's got 18 home runs. I did not know he was doing this well. 18 home runs already. Four stolen bases. He needs to pick up in the stolen base department. I think they want to keep him healthy and not have him running a whole lot. 129 OPS plus, 850 OPS. He's doing well. You're going to have to make that decision on your own if you want to collect him long term, but doing well. Thoughts about PSA 9s? I'm on a budget. 10s are out of reach. Are 9s a good alternative? Absolutely. Yeah. 9s are, I mean, they're for guys like you who are on a budget. You can get a great card for a fraction of the price. They always say, collect the card, not the grade. And the difference between a 9 and a 10 is sometimes, like, non-existent. Like, you can't even tell. So, yeah, don't worry about buying 9s. You can just get a great steal on some cards. Have you heard of greening or hulking concerning chrome cards? This is happening largely to older chrome cards, but I'm worried it will begin to happen in, to newer chrome in 20 years. Yeah, I have heard about that. Especially that was a thing in early tops finest cards. Um, I don't think you have to worry about that for future cards because they probably got that locked down. Because that was like early forms of chrome you know, I think they figured that out by now. Turkey red bow. What do we have here? Ooh, another Pandora. To 79. Dude, that's a nice bow. Maybe pile. Ooh, we got a couple of goodies coming up. Are we getting into the good ones? We might be getting into the better bows. That one to $9.99. Oh, I love this one. Oh, yeah. We're, we're at the good ones. Maybe I should put those on the bottom. Let's wait. Got some juicy ones coming up. And those aren't even... We're not even into the graded ones. Get the nine. Eventually, you could sell an upgrade. Yeah. Dude, you can buy nines, crack them out, resend them. If, if everything's legit, you know? Turkey, what? Is that a variation? Oh, it's the complete set variation. It's a nice card, though. I don't have many of those. I think that's the only one I have. Chrome. 85. Fantastic Feats. That's another pretty rare one. It's a clean card. So this is what gallery used to look like. And the artwork is a little questionable. What product is the best bang for your buck? It depends on the year. depends on the release. If you're talking right now. I would say 2022 Topps Chrome Update or 2022 Heritage High Number. Possibly Series 2 Hanger Boxes, Bowman Hanger Boxes, Bowman Blaster Boxes for 2023, all that for the newer stuff. Good bang for your buck. Usually retail in general, great bang for your buck. Look at that. Master and Apprentice. Woo! Gold label, class two. Another one of those, 2030s. Score. This is out of uh Chronicles. They only they only had these in Chronicles. Oh yeah. Love that one. What a photo. Are you kidding me? What a photo that is. Goodness. Amazing. There's another gypsy. Gypsy insert wheel of fortune. Bowman's best. I think that's 21 Bowman's best. No, that's 2019 Bowman's best. This is when he's a prospect. 
2019 Bowman's Best. Pretty cool design. Those freshman flash chrome. More chrome. Ooh, this is a gold. In a too thick of a case. Cool gold. I think that was a gift. 790 of 2020. Cheaply printed on the back. Glad they're not doing that anymore. Well. Um, oh, this is, so this is Bowman Platinum, but the iced out parallel. More flagship. That is a GQ swap. That's a variation right there. I'll show you the regular one. We can compare. See the difference? Man, that's a nice card, too. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Close. Ooh, bow first. Chrome bow first. Sweet. And the Mojo rookie of your favorites. Are we getting into the good ones? Another one of those? Some sweet bows. Parallel. Prism parallel. Rookie. Oh, wow. Ooh, another parallel. Okay. That's the rainbow foil. But it looks like there's a little bit of chipping on the bottom. That's why I didn't send that off. That's sweet. And the green parallel is awesome, too. Man, we got some, got some nice ones here. I'm not sending, not sending that. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to send any bows, but he's having a great season. Like, now would be the time to do it. Flagship, turkey red, another gypsy, another turkey. Ah, here he is. Okay. That's a sick one. Ruby red in the wings. That's a tough pull. I, I bought this raw. Did Jeff Becker take that stadium club photo? I don't think so, but it's a great photo. This song's annoying me. Much better. Foils are so hard to get out of the pack in good shape. I know. Grade the first. I don't I think I would have sent it away if it was gradable. Maybe. Let's look at that real quick. There's like something, a little something up there. Maybe some scratches on it. Let's let's take a closer look. Yeah, there's a little... I mean, I don't know. That might come right off. Dude, there are no scratches on that. That's a clean card. That That might just wipe right off. It looks like just a... All right, I'll consider it. It's pretty sick, too. I'll consider that. That's a beauty. Why didn't I send that off? Consider it. Now we're getting into the good stuff. So, Bobachette on card auto, patch auto, or swatch auto. I think that's a patch 24 of 99 how sick is that i pulled that out of a, uh i opened that on a video boxer chronicles pulled that out of there glorious this is rookie season two 2020 player worn slash used and now we're talking refractor but I 
This is from Bowman Chrome, or is it Bowman Draft? Bowman Draft, yeah, Bows and Bowman Draft. So the refractors are not numbered, but that's a that's a sick card. Look at this. Clearly authentic. I think I I think I pulled that redemption and got that sent sent to me straight from tops. Forgot I had that. Card like that you could consider cutting out of there and sending away too. Sweet. Should put that up there. Maybe that too. Uh, mm. Ooh, look at that. Purdy purple. Purple shimmer. 2019 Bowman. And the green. 2019 Bowman Platinum. Green to 99. Unparalleled. Star, some kind of star parallel. Astral. That's a sweet one. A little mini. This is the Hotbox mini? Or what is that? It's something special. I think it's some kind of a hot box parallel. And we got the green camo. And tops fire. Gypsy fortune teller. All right, on to the graded cards. Where to begin? I think we start right here. PSA 10, turkey red chrome. I like the turkeys. They bring them back every so often, but the chromes I particularly liked. It seems like they were OC a lot. So to get a, a centered one, gemmed up, I think it's just a nice little piece for the collection. Not super expensive, but cool card. This one right here. This is, in my eyes, the true bow rookie from Heritage. It's the action variation with only featuring only bow. Because his rookie had two players on it, it had bow on top and Anthony K on the bottom. I didn't like that one, so I didn't really have any... I didn't even want to get a parallel or hot box of it. I didn't. But the action variation, that's sweet. Back in the day when they would put action up here. Nice card. And with the black borders, super tough to gem. Got the refractor. PSA 10. Clean. Clean. Sepia. Straight up chrome. Probably should have showed the straight up chrome first. But we got a little mini rainbow happening right here. Some of the more affordable ones, if you're in the Beau Bichette market, these are three cards that are relatively affordable in a PSA 10. Not too crazy. I call it the mini rainbow. The unnumbered parallels you can get out of Topps Chrome that are really cool and pretty affordable. We'll put, we'll put him up. And last but not least, the star of the show. First auto, 9.5. Three nine fives and a ten. This was a gift from Cubby. How sick is that? Let's get it out of that. 
sleeve. The sleeve's seen better days. I think it's about time for an upgrade. Let's get him in a new one. This is my only Beckett slab, I think, in my whole collection. That looks better. Big Al says, how do you feel about Sports Illustrated for kids cards? I don't really have a whole lot of thoughts on that. I know the Tiger's a really collectible card. Anything you like take out of a magazine and then send it away is, I don't know. Okay. Well, what do you guys want to do next? Nina, nice to see you. Love the bow on the 71 design. DT123, sorry, I just jumped in. If you already addressed this, thoughts on Tatis? Love them. Do you want to see some Tatis cards? It's my guy. 357, what's up, brother? Been a while. Did you show off your Ellie? I only have, that's it. This is my Ellie PC. Um... I've got to have a bunch of his chrome first somewhere. I don't know where they are, though. I think, I don't know. i got to find them. I'll send them off with this next order if I can find them. Gold border mini, yeah. But, like, what are those from? Aren't they from something, Tim? Some kind of hot box or something? Chris with a $5 super chat says, Striker, thank you for sharing. You're on my Mount Rushmore because you're honest and care about us collectors. Love the bow. Jealous of that BGS auto. Thanks, man. Appreciate your generosity. J-Rod, you want to see some J-Rods? <laughs> Dude, my J-Rod collection is ridic. Ridiculous. Some of these are in my eBay store, so they're not all like my PC. But my PC is pretty crazy too. I got I'm trying to slim down my J Rods. Oh yeah, here's another bow slabbed up. Just the flagship PSA ten. Okay, here's some of my J-Rods. Hold on. One more. Two more. Where do we begin? Oh my gosh. You guys. Oh, let's just start here. Throwback Thursday. AL Rookie of the Year. Purple Refractor from Topps Chrome Update. PSA 9. Rookie of the Year Favorites. Okay. Some of these are n I need to... I'm probably going to... I don't want to get these mixed up. Little sapphire PSA 10 chrome update sapphire and the gold. I am going to okay, so I made a deal with myself that I am only allowed to keep 
as many slabs as will fit in my case, which is like, I don't know. There's a lot of them in there, like a hundred or something. And I think I'm going to list this one just because it's, I'm, I'm getting too many. I have too many cards. I got to sell some. Both of these, I think I'm going to list, but they're <laughs> sweet. These are, okay. Got the rookie performers from Heritage, high number, PSA 10, all-star game, PSA 10. I think these are all gems, pretty much. Got the Aoki. Chrome all-star game. I love that card. 22 Chrome all-star. This thing was selling for like around 100 bucks for a while. Let's drop down. Cards go up and down all the time. PSA 9, Rookie Debut Sapphire. True Chrome, PSA 10. Got the UK, PSA 10. Drop you a link to my eBay store in case you're interested in any cards. Shoot me an offer. Did you buy these or rip them? I bought 95% of them, Hector. Yeah, you hit a home run today. Yeah, I saw that. Also, did he get a stolen base too? Yeah, he got. He went three for five with a home run and a stolen base. He, Julio's picking it up big time. Another PSA 9 debut. Straight up Sapphire and a nine. Another purple. And a nine. This is the Montgomery Club collection and a PSA 10. Pretty cool card. Got the Sapphire and a 10. I got I pulled a lot of these. Remember I ripped like I ripped a whole bunch of these Sapphire boxes. I think I did 10 of them, or 10 or 20, I don't know, a lot. And I got a bunch of debuts. The Terminator, Throwback Thursday. And then the good ones. Black, gold, blue. Super tough. To, I don't know if there's any of these that are PSA 10s. Last I checked, I think there's only PSA 9s of this. They're just ridiculous. This one's beautiful, too. The front is awesome. It's flawless. And, of course, there's, like, the the back black. Just a little bit of chipping on that front. Ugh. So, so gorgeous, though. Look at that thing. Not to be outdone, but the gold as well. <sighs> to 75. Mm -mm -mm. All I need is the red and the black. Love those. About the UK black. I'm so happy that thing gemmed up. Gosh, she's pretty. Pretty. The 125. And we got the green sapphire. Looks great. PSA 9. So perfect. Just a, like, just must be a little too thin over there or something. I don't know. A little too thick down there. But that's to 75. Gorgeous. And then my big boy. Rookie to 10 10 of 10 all of these are all of these are for sale on the eBay store what else are we thinking what do you guys want to see next KC with a five month membership there is one PSA 10 
Bobby gold, black gold. Oh, gold, black gold. Yeah, I didn't. I was talking about the blue, but one PSA 10 gold. That's pretty crazy. Those are so they're going to be buried for a long time. A lot of a lot of people are holding on to update 2022 update. Just holding on to it, you know, thinking it's going to appreciate, which it probably will. It all depends on Julio. Bobby is looking kind of like a All Star type player, but maybe not a Hall of Fame type. Who? It's way too early to tell. Of course, any of these guys are so young they could just turn like that all right what's next i can rip some cards i can answer some questions i can show you some more pc i got tons more cards all i showed you was Bo and julio you sold the black on ebay a while back yeah i put a couple offers in on blacks but those are you know usually i i buy raw cards and with the thought that I'm going to try to get it graded and then upgrade it and then, you know, make some money off of it or something or put in the PC if it's one of my PC cards. I only have a couple of Otanis. Um, graded. Only a couple graded ones. A few. Got the pitching in the PSA 10 from update. But I also have the rainbow foil, which is a sick hit. Remember, I pulled this. I did a rip, PC rip, and I pulled it, and I was super stoked, and it gemmed up. And the warm-up shirt, SP. So that's my graded Otani collection. They're just They're expensive. And I did have the X Fractor, but I flipped it. At one point, I had bought the Otani um, when he was at, when it was at, like at a low. I think the X Fractor I bought it for like maybe a couple hundred bucks, then I flipped it for like six hundred or something. And I was happy to do it at the time, but. I mean, now it's probably worth, let's see. It's probably like a thousand dollar card now, eh? Oh yeah, $1,300 card now. But you don't look back. Made some money on it, let's move on. Just like that. For PC players, would you rather have as many cards as possible or a few that you really love? A few that I really love. Because I have I have a lot of cards, and the hardest part is trimming, trimming it down. Trimming it down, because it just keeps building and building and building. But like for Tatis, I had to have all, like all the different ones. That was my goal. And I don't want multiples. I'm not the kind of guy who collects multiples of the same, same one. Although you just saw my bow collection, and there's multiples of all that. But I'm talking about like graded ones. I'll take a whole bunch of raw ones any day, but as far as graded ones go, I only want one of each. If I have more than one of each, then I gotta sell. I gotta sell the other ones. It's it's ridiculous to keep like just multiples of the same card. At least for me, I don't I don't find any joy in that. Yeah, you want to see the Acunas? I got some sick Acunas. Any 2000 to 2009 graded cards. The only one No, but These are some earlier ones that I have I got the Tiger Woods rookie 2001 upper deck Gemmed up I bought that um, kind of at the, at, at the peak. Can't remember what I spent. I probably spent like 300 bucks on it. I don't know what it's worth now, but it's got to be less than that. And then I got the Ken Griffey Jr. Tiffany in an eight. I did that whole series where I opened up a, a bunch of Tiffany looking for Griffey's and the Fleer Glossy. 
It was very expensive, and I was really hoping that the cards would be in great qual- great uh, condition. I don't really, I don't really know what's wrong with them. Like, why would that be an eight? You know, it looks looks pretty good to me. Sharp corners, and then that got a seven. It must be like the color looks a little bit tan i don't know if it's supposed to look like that but dude look at that card it's sharp it's centered for the most part it's a little thick down there but to get a seven are you kidding me that's a tiffany bowman good luck finding those look at the back the back is like perfect look at the edges in the corners that's a red back man like a little thick up there just a little but that's not a seven in my opinion that is not a seven that's like a nine. I might crack it and send it. I don't know. But yeah, those are some of my older ones. How about this? I got a big stack of rookies in here that are like pretty good ones that I just have never sent away. We could go through them and see if there's anything worth sending. I know there's like some Sotos and Acunas and Otanis and stuff like that. It's undergraded, typical PSA. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. It's too nice. And it's a super valuable card. What's the oldest card in your PC? I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Since we're on Ken Griffey Jr., I got the finest. That was part of my series. You guys should go back and watch that. I did like a five-part series ripping, looking for the best Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Of course, upper deck. Everybody's got to have that in their collection. How about two? Not good enough to send away, though. Little OC. And they grade these things so harsh. So, so harsh. Let's find my oldest card. It's not going to be that. I know what one it is. It's not that, though. A couple of LK lines. Three of them. Pretty sweet ones. And Pete Rose. Man, that's a pretty early one, isn't it? 65. 61. Yeah, 61. A couple more Griffies. Classic Frank Thomas, Larry Walker rookie, Smoltz, Sheffield, Biggio, Randy. Unfortunately, it's not the Marlboro back. Some Bonds cards. Sweetberry, Willie Stargell rook, or, uh, auto. Jeter. That's it right there. Whitey Ford rookie. Where is it? No, that's it right there. I think that's my oldest card. I don't know what year that is. 50, 51 Bowman. Another Whitey. Another Biggio. 83 Gwyn. A couple Eddie Murray rookies. I think I got a couple of them. No, I just have one. Not in the best condition. Yastrzemski. Johnny Bench. Another Bench. Mike Schmidt. Tony Gwynn. That's sweet. Ozzy rookie. Mattingly. 
Another Mattingly. Love the stash. Grew that stash in a year. Frank Robinson. Nolan. A decent Nolan. It's Mike Schmidt. Classic Bo. How many one ones do you have? I don't have that many. Only maybe like three or four, I think. Where's Billy Ripken? He's coming. Joe Torrey. Another Randy rookie. Another Rose. Reggie Jackson. The Griffey Cup. Bose, Ozzy, and Ricky, Schmidt, and Murray, Cal. That's sick. Ozzy, Dale Murphy, Stremski, Seaver, Strawberry, Larkin, Tim Raines. Another Johnny Bench. Just, that's uh, here's that uh, eighty-three. Love that with Hank Aaron, <clears throat> Frank Thomas. Oh yeah, I got some Rickies coming up. Nice little early, early Rickies. Another K line. There's Bill. Got two of them. Actually, I have, I, yeah, that, that's a pretty rare one. Okay, uh, they call that the saw blade one, I think. With, with the legit, you know what, written on there, and then the black box. Another Ripken. Reggie Jackson. Sweet Lou. Couple Hank Aaron's. Another Hank. Another few Hanks. Glavin and Bo and Randy. Rivera. That's sweet. I love that card, man. Pujols and Ichiro. Bowman. Or no, that's the tops. I got the Bowman too. Now we're getting into. Here's one of my one on ones, Kyle Lewis printing plate. Oh, here's another one. Maybe they're all right here. Yeah, they are. There's three of them Brendan Rogers, one on one auto, and Joe Jimenez, super fractor. That might be all of them. Unless, I, I feel like there's one more somewhere that I don't know where it is. Well, there's a few different saw ones. Would you slab your one ones Not mine. Mine aren't valuable. But I would if I had a good one. Some Hall of Fame relics or like legendary player relics. Joe Carter. Barry Bonds. Game Worn. Sepeda. Pudge. Alan Ginter. Hank Aaron. This is... Uh, I love this. Love it. Wow. All 
Reggie Jackson, Bat Relic. Now we're getting into some crazy. Look at this. Joe DiMaggio. The 185. How sick is that? Whoo. Man, look at that jersey. It just looks so old. Got another pudge here. Look at the size of that bat relic. Whoa. 24 25 immaculate. Game used. Wow. K Play, what's up? Six month membership. Cheers, Striker. Thank you for the knowledge. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Hit the like button, please. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Your first one of one was the Alec Thomas printing plate last year. Those are the only one of ones you have in your entire collection. Yeah, they're not easy to pull, man. You got to open a lot of cards to pull that one of ones. Um, I, may, I might have a couple more floating around, but I don't have any like really good ones. What do you got a lot? Like I, I haven't bought any. Those are just actually ones that I pulled. I think uh, I'm, the Jimenez I think was given to me. Sandy Koufax, another relic. Sweet relic, old time jersey. Look at how these jerseys look the same with the the like the blue in there. Rogers Hornsby to ten. Pretty cool. Willie Stargell, Bat Relic. Game used. Number to 150. The early serial numbering that they used to do. High quality. They still do stuff like this on certain cards like uh, the Fleer Metal. Cal Ripken Jr., Bat Relic. Game used. Pee Wee Reese. Bat Relic. That's a sweet one. I love the, the Hall of Fame legend relics. David Ortiz, Allen and Ginter. Ozzy to 50. Catfish Hunter. Game worn. Number to 100. What now? Your first one one was O'Neill Cruz logo fractor rose gold. Whoa. Hey, what's up, Jorge? Yeah, let's hey, I'll open it right now since you're here. Got a bunch of people in here. Prospect Chase Box. Let's rip it open. See what's inside. Give you the details. All right, here we here we go. Got some stuff to rip. Tough pulls Tim with a 499. My only one one is a Hank Aaron Cut Auto. Woo! Pulled from a 2022 Top Series 2 retail fat pack. Wow! Wow. That's incredible, dude. Hey, Straker, it's been a minute. We're now up to volume 13 and wanted to check in with you. Share some of the fun we've been having. Please enjoy our volume 13 box full of sealed wax. Awesomeness as usual. Here's the pack lineup. 
We got a 23 Series 1, 23 Bowman Hobby, 22 First Edition Hobby, 22 Chrome Update Hobby, two packs, 22 Heritage, two packs, Topps Chrome Sapphire, 2021, 2020 Topps Chrome Blaster, 2020 Prism Mega. And there's five hot boxes that'll have two retail packs, a 23 Series 1 from the Super Box. Three chase boxes. First chase box will include an exclusive 23 Series 1 patterned foil board back and limited edition pin. Second and third chase boxes will include a Series 1 Jumbo Hobby Silver Pack. Striker Break Slammers can get the Volume 13 box at our Father's Day special price of $124.99 by using the discount code STRIKEFORCE at checkout. Buy these at prospectchasebox.com. Prospectchasebox.com. And Jorge Prospector on Facebook and Prospect Chase Box on Insta. Thanks for sending this, man. Fun times. Let's get into it. Ooh, lots of packs in here. Where do we begin? Get a little Benny Montgomery bonus. That's cool. Hmm. Just gonna start from the top. Let's start with Bowman. Steve with a 499 super chest as I have the Andres Jimenez top Bowman Scout Super Fractor in a PSA 10. But my oldest card is a 1909 Eddie Collins. Great stuff, brother. Thanks for the super, Steve, and thanks for being here. What are you saying about the Angels? Are they putting up mad numbers? Whoa! 17 to 0 in Colorado. Angels up 17 to 0. Whoa! Nolan, Nolan Jones rookie. That's got to be embarrassing for the Rockies. They're an embarrassment. Juan Alonzo first. Fernandez. 2022 Series 1 tops. First edition. Santillian rookie. Keep Brian Future Stars. Hmm, what's this? Trevor Rogers. Green to 150. That's a cool card. Top load that bad dog. Cup card. Put him on the stage. It's a bloodbath. <laughs> Elegant Elliot says, still not enough of a lead for their bullpen. Otani has one single. Thoughts on Mickey Moniak? I don't know. Not. I don't have a whole lot to say on him. George Kirby, Trevor Story, Pavetta, and we got a purple Josh Winder. Let's try that again. Quan rookie, now we're talking. Soler and Nola. Sapphire, let's save that one. Heritage Miner, 2022. These have uh, a lot of autographs that come out of here. Pretty high rate of autos. I don't open a whole lot of Heritage Miner leagues. What's up, this the breaks? 
fourth inning, 18 nothing. We might have the highest game in history, highest scoring game in history here. What do we have here? Henry Davis, is that a sticker? Huh. Back to back Henry Davises. Twenty twenty tops chrome. Add to my bow PC. Who's your PC players? Well, we've kind of been going through them a little bit. Um, PC, I PC rookies. So all the guys we're talking about: Soto, Acuna, Vlad, Nando, Jordan. A little bit. Um, Julio, Bobby. I, I got a lot of guys, man. <laughs> Logan Webb. That's just, yeah, I like that. I like that Tatis Cup. Honus. I'm just looking for the Padres to do something against the Nationals. Do you have the Bo Rookie, the man? I thought I did, but I didn't see any when I pulled it. I, I'm sure I do somewhere or did somewhere. Josh Hader. Prism. Got a big boy here. Mercy rule, no kidding. After a while, they're gonna they're gonna sit. The big boys. Trout and Otani, they're going to give him a blow, I would imagine. Swaggerty rookie. Vargas. There's a Riley. Series one seems like so long ago. I don't even remember. Time to get a new kind of music in here. This is driving me crazy. Oh. No, not that. I guess a little hip hop, maybe. See how this treats us. We can change it if it's stupid. Gold foil. Giants. Gold and a gold foil. Hey, it's a rookie gold. Palacios. It's a 2023. Last pack out of here. Sapphire. 23 to nothing. Oh, boy. Castellanos, Colton Wong, Luis Garcia, rookie. That's nice. Otani and Trout. It's a collectible card. All right, sweet. Thanks for sending that, buddy. Appreciate it. We can look at my autograph collection. There's a lot of no names. It's all no names. It's not all no names. We might find a diamond in the rough that I totally forgot about in here. All 
right, they're not all no names. It's actually some pretty nice ones. We'll save those for the end. Let's see if we can find a diamond in the rough that I forgot all about or a guy that got good. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Who? Huh? Uh. Hmm. Uh. No. No. Nope. Nope. Uh. This is like, this is the kind of stuff you pull. For everybody who thinks there's influencer cases, let me show you all my autos I've pulled. How's that for an influencer case hit? Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. Nick Solak. Brad Keller. Uh, uh. Is this what your auto collection looks like? Hey, it's Jorge Soler. There's a guy. That's the, there's a guy that plays. Yeah. Nope. 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 Although Fairchild is playing in the league. And that's a parallel. The 150, but... Hey, that's a decent one. I guess. Contreras? I guess that's okay. We'll put him in the okay, I suppose, pile. Nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. Chris Paddock, but no. Nikki Lolich. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, that's Max. Diamond in the rough. Look at this. Blue and Diaz cracked, black cracked ice to 25. Nope. Oh, well, I already went through all those. There's plenty more. Don't worry. Taco breaks with a five spot. I throw all my crap cards I rip in packs in the trash, which is most of them. My question is, what else do you do with them? All my crap cards? Stack of like a million cards over there. I give some away. I give a lot away. 90, 99% of them. Throw some of them in a burning fire. Give some to kids, my friend's kids. Sell like. A lot of that. Hey. Hmm. Oh. Hey. This is this is what it usually is. Tavares is actually playing well. We're gonna put him in the good card pile. Nope. Tukey. Isan Diaz, not gonna get it done. Discount trout. Not gonna get it done. Brennan K. Hmm. Okay. Bradley, another Jake Rogers. Yes, Monty Grandal. Remember him when he used to be good? Bryce Wilson, another Hassan Diaz, Barucki, Keller, Arcia, Lewis Brinson, Luke and Baker. This is this is the this is what I pull for my PC when I'm ripping for me. The kind of cards I get. Tyler Freeman to 10. <laughs> That's a good one. Francisco Alvarez. We're gonna put that in the good card. Hey, Goldschmidt! That's a good one. Didn't know I had him. Jalen Beeks. Ka 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 ka. Brandon Lau. Decent. Nico. Hey, that's good. That's a rookie Nico. K. Nope. Bruzdar. Nah. 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 There's still more. You got a thousand dollar tax receipt for your donation. It's nice. Real Muto, I'll take that. Rowdy, nah. Jalen, nope, nope, nope. Hunter Renfro, he's pretty good. 
out of Vino. How many Jake Rogers autos? Jalen Beeks. Willie. Look at Willie. Grayson Janista. Uh, another Nico. Chance Adams, Chris Shaw, Ulrich Bojarski, Tyler Anderson, Mauricio Dubon. As far as these autos go, I guess that's okay. Another Jake Rogers. What do I got? Like 10 Jake Rogers autos? That one's to 20. Look at that thing. Nove Marte, Danny Jansen, Tukey, another O'Hearn, another O'Hearn. <clears throat> Yamamoto, classic. Yamamoto, classic. Yamamoto, classic. <laughs> All these stinkies. Stinkers. All right, now now the better ones, I guess. I do have like some nice ones that are graded. And there was that bow. A couple of bows that I showed off earlier. There's those guys. So those are pretty good. So these are the best autos in my like How many Tavares is? Good lord. I like that Max. I think I'll pass on all of them, to be honest with you. But these ones are okay. I'm pretty sure I had to buy these ones. Alex Verdugo, first refractor. Auto. There's got to be some Verdugo fans in the house. Yeah, it's my PC hangers or bangers. Sell those Jake Rogers autos to Jake Rogers. Mail them back to the players. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Walker contenders. It wasn't Jordan Walker, was it? I thought it was somebody else. Was it Jordan Walker? I don't feel like going back and finding him. We got Verdugo. Nice Corey Seager. National Treasures. Swato to 99. Rookie. Same as this. Rookie year. Corey Seager. National Treasures. Tri triple swatch on card auto. Got this Verlander. This was a gift from someone. How awesome is that? Seven of 25. By the letter signatures, SP authentic. That's a bad boy right there. Bad boy. I was big into Seager when I first got back into the game. If you can't tell, and I didn't know what I was buying, so I just bought the cheapest autos I could find. But it's a rookie auto, Seager on card. That's kind of nice, Mackenzie Gore, I guess, to ten. C.J. Abrams. Another Corey Seager. Rated rookie parallel. Aqua to 125. This card is what got me back into the game. Card shop guy tricked me into buying a box of DK Diamond Kings. And I pulled a Al Kaline Auto to three out of it. And I was back. Schwarber archival autographs to 50. Nothing too fancy, really. The, the Berlander's off. Awesome. See some Vlads? Got a few Vladdies. Yeah, those are really nice. Is Al Kaline Hall of Fame? Yeah. Yeah, he's one of the best. One of the best ever. Best Tigers ever, for sure. One of the best. 
I know, Barry. We're talking about that. 23 to nothing, top of the fifth. And some Vladdy rookies. Holiday. Don Russ. Ooh, got the auto. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Big league auto. Did I pull a... Somebody either sent that. Someone might have sent that to me. I don't remember pulling that. Most of this stuff I pulled, like 95% of it, 99% of it. Love that, Vlad Rookie. No number. This is from the Tatis X collection. Tops update. 2019 Tops update, Vlad. True rookie. It's a rainbow foil of the rookie debut. Another update. Another Vlad from Tatis X. Chrome debut. Paper debut. Bowman Platinum rookie. That's the holiday. And debut. Another holiday. Archives. Bowman's best. Bowman Platinum. This is 2019. Before you get the rookie insignia on there. Didn't we have a platinum? Why does that have this? Two different sets within one? Yeah. Top 100. That's what that is. It's the top 100. And then that's the straight up rookie. Prismatic Prodigies. Love that again. 150 years. Ready for the show. That's the Mega Box version. And that's the regular version. And that's the Bowman throwback. Look at Vlad. He's looking a little thick. Mojo. Fire. Another Mojo. Man, he looks young there. 2017. All right. Yeah. Bowman's best. Man, that's what, 2017? 2018 Bowman's best. Timeless Treasures from Chronicles. Phoenix from Chronicles. Crusade from Chronicles. A lot of Chronicles. You get a lot of Vlad rookies out of Chronicles. 2019 Chronicles. Same thing. Although it's Don Ross, I believe it came out of Chronicles. Maybe, it, maybe it's not. Maybe it's regular Don Ross. Just some some of the top loaded ones, but my my PSA Vlad collection is pretty sick. Got a lot of cards? Yeah, I do. I don't watch college ball. I don't have cable. I just watch YouTube and MLB TV. First of all, the no number, Vlad. Gemmed up. Hot card back in the day. Still is pretty, pretty popular. Pretty valuable card, I suppose. I haven't looked at it in a while, but... Then we've got the refractor. Let's start a little Vlad show. Pink. Sepia. Prism. Prism looks so sweet. X Fractor.
And my personal favorite, the paper, yellow paper first. Super tough to gem these up. Yellow border with the paper. And these only come out of, uh, these only come out of hanger packs. So, you know, they're handled, they're manhandled in the store, retail only. Love that. You may remember when I pulled it. When I ripped all that 2016 Bowman. Regular paper first. And the clearly authentic blue auto to 25. Rookie auto. These are in the, my eBay store, these two. Along with another Prism PSA 10. What's next? Do you only buy PSA 10s for the PC? Mostly. 99%. Yeah. Step in the box. What's happening? Quality's frustrating. What are you talking about? Did I miss... Uh, are you talking about Bowman? This year's Bowman? Quality? Or are you just going through cards? Bowman Chrome Light Case or Bowman Draft Light Case? Neither. If you're going to spend that much on a case, get 22 Bowman um, hobby boxes or jumbo. Spend that much on a jumbo. You won't get as much, but I think that's... There's a lot of stuff in those light boxes. How much are we talking though? Are there 20? So we're talking like two grand or something? Or how much is a case? 1600. Yeah, Jason, I, I kind of went through all my vintage earlier. Looking at lots of 23 Bowman. Yeah, the quality is frustrating. Did you see that last PSA reveal I did, Brett? A lot of nines. And I, I only sent the best stuff away, too. Everything else, I just auctioned everything off right away, and I lost my rear doing it that way. Dad box, yeah, I think they're not doing Gypsy 23. Hit that like button. Let's get to 300 likes. We're almost there. What else you guys want to look at? Let's look at some of these rookies. I got a big stack of rookies here, and I want to go through them because when I don't know what to do with a rookie, I just put it here. Let's see if we can find some gems. Diamonds in the rough. Prince Fielder, rookie. Max Kepler, Tool Whiskey, Manny. Maglio, sweet. I forgot about all of these. Bonilla. Hunter Green, Chipper. Conseco, Nomar. That's a pretty wicked Adley. I should probably top load that, eh? So random. These are all random. Like, no rhyme or reason to which rookies these are. Tough going. Mm -hmm. Love the late night streams. Thanks, Jeff. Roman's in here dropping a $9.99 super chat. Will you look in the camera, wink, and wish my girlfriend a happy birthday? Her name's Nicole. Nicole, I wish you a very happy birthday. How's that? Thank you for the donation. Yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. There's an Adley Sapphire. I'm going to set that over there. Some of these are going to have to go in the good card pile, I think. Ryan Sandberg, look at this gold Royce Lewis. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, 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 when you rip the quantity that I rip, sometimes you, you get these stacks of cards. They just, they're everywhere. And then you 
try to sort and consolidate the best you can, and they just end up in stacks like this. Luis Robert, class one. We got Pedro, Slam and Sammy. Um, we're going back to the drawing board with the music. This song is called Designer Cowboy Boots. See what it's all about. Cal, Tony. Eesh. Oh, nothing. Nothing like a gold Andrew Vaughn staring back at you. Jeez, gold Andrew Vaughn rookie. How about the good card pile? So Winsky, Pena, Wander. Sitting there in a soft sleeve. Call up. Couple of Sotos. This song sounds familiar. I've definitely heard this song in someone else's stream before. I think this is the song they play at one of the one of the fancy channels that I watch. Jeff, thanks for becoming a hitter. Double wink. Yeah, double wink. I go all out. Look at that Soto International Inc. That's a bad Soto. That's 2016 Soto. His uh, The year of his first out of Bowman. I'd send that away, but it's just got the smallest white speck in that corner. And then if he gets a nine, it's not really, not really worth it. Shohei rookie. Randomly Shohei. Should I separate like the real good ones? Look at all the Shoheis. Oh my gosh. I probably have a wealth of Shohei. Oh, that's a cool one too. Debut batting. Look at all these Shohei rookies. Oh my gosh. I'm sure some of these are gems too. Look at that one. That Soto with an auto. Yeah, you can get autos on that. Yep. Yeah, you can get autos on that. They're super tough, obviously. <laughs> Three Acuna rookie debuts. <laughs> Legends in the making. Oh, wow. I guess I got some nice Acunas in here, too. Jeez. Joe Adele rookie. Devers rookie. This is a rainbow foil, Joe Adele. Man, there's, yeah, see, these are, whoa, Devers refractor first. And the black. Whoa, look at this spread. Forgot all about this. I bought these and a lot off eBay. And I guess I just put them in, put them in the pile. That's a sick rainbow. That black one. Chrome, refractor, black border, and the base. Whoa. It's not a rookie. It's a cup. Mullins, X-Fractor. Let's go, Mullins. Pache, gold foil, another Devers. Legends in the making. Biggio sneaking his way into all the piles. Ozzy Albies. Chrome rookie. I think that's update. Or is that regular? Might just be regular. God, there's some good ones. I'm spoiled. I'm so spoiled. Although I probably spent 10 grand opening packs to just get those. Oh, look at these Max Scherzer rookies I got. Look at this stack. Bowman Chrome rookie. I bought a lot of these. A lot of like 20. Four Chromes. I think the rest were paper. These are going to be valuable someday. Kyle 
Lewis, what are you doing in here? What are you doing, Kyle? Press proof hobby. Why are you over here? Pitch in with the numbered card. Corey Seager, home run rookie. Ozuna, Cespedes, orange Cespedes rookie. Puig, Dansby, Flaherty rookie. There's a lot of like those second tier guys. Do I have any Mason Miller? I don't think so. Yeah, Devers is super underrated. Matthew's been looking forward to the PC video. A lot of people have. I, I had to do it. Walker Bueller rookie. We got Andujar Chrome. Look at this Biggio gold debut. Another one. Conseco Cup. Clevenger to 299. Jordan Chrome debut. Pete Chrome debut. Miles Straw made his way. Brandon Marsh. Luis Heel gold. Looks like brown though. Look at that thing's tan, but it's gold. Bruhan, get out of here. I'm going to, I need to start cleaning this out. We got to get Lugo out of here. Bruhan's probably going to have, although that is a rainbow foil parallel. Sweet India. Neil. That's what kind of party it is. McNeil's invited. Now we're getting into the soft sleeves, so they're probably not as good. Paddock. A lot of Paddock. Look at the Paddock collection. Jordan opening day. We got some more bows. Bo, you go in a different pile. Plenty of Pete's. Debut, all-star game, more Paddock, more Paddock. Eloy, Kyle Tucker, the nice one. Chavis, Arias, hey, hey. I was thinking about Arias. I got to I gotta set those aside. Johnny Means. What happened to John Means? Kino, Alcantara. Black and white Alcantara. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's to 50. Put him in the good card pile. Albies, Reese. This is one of the first boxes I bought. 2018 Gypsy. Getting back in. Decent rookies. I remember that. Pretty nice Ian Anderson. Laser, Austin Meadows. A lot of like B tier rookies. Albies, Strasburg Black. Nice pool holes, blue pool holes. Reese Hoskins, Home Run Derby. A lot of Austin Meadows and Reese. A lot of 2018 stuff. I like that Devers. Not even, look at that. Not even sleeved up. How dare you? How dare me? How dare me? Yvonne's Junk, thanks for subscribing, my man. Dude, Duffy. Stripling, why are you in here? Random Golds. Winker, Winkler, why? Why? All of you. I put you in the wrong pile, I see. Plenty of Glabers. Flaherty. Let's get these bums out of here. So, so many paddocks. Just past Otani. Legends in the making, Otani. Where was that? That's a, that's a decent card. I'm not seeing it. It's got to be in this pile, right? There he is. Not even soft sleeved. What are you thinking? That's why we do this. Any Drew Jones cards? I passed one earlier.
Good card pile. I mean, there's a lot of put divers over there too. Technically, every card in these boxes is like something, I suppose. Something. Some kind of collectability. Maybe. I don't know what to expect as we work our way back. I'm seeing a lot more top-loaded cards towards the back of the rookie row. Kopech. He's... Wait, didn't we already do this? Didn't we already do this? No, we did not. Mullins bunting. Trey Mancini first. Chrome is chilling. So many. I was a big fan of Paddock for a while. Biggio first. Bregman rookie. Couple of Bregman rookies. Ooh, Bow Platinum. Oh, uh, we got the bow pile mixed up a bit. Walker Bueller. Look at that. Look at that Walker Bueller. Elite Extra Edition. Whoa. This is 2017. 2015. Kino. That's numbered. Ooh, that's a cool Devers rookie. Spectra. Ooh, look at Rendon, too. 2016, 13. Oh, yeah, 13. I don't go back that far a whole lot. Moncada, Didi, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer, rookie. Soft-sleeved, hanging out. That's a cool one. Look at this sleeve. Look at that sleeve. Just leave it. Peter Alonzo. Ben Intendi rookie. Got a Jordan. Austin Riley, young thick. We got some Riley rookies. I'm gonna set those over there. Taylor Ward rookie. X Fractor. Laser Refractor. So many Glaber Torres rookies. Aren't card values subjective? No. <laughs> Not really. You can go on eBay and type in a card and whatever it sold for last is pretty much what it's worth. I mean, it's subjective like anything, any value of anything is subjective. Even the price of gold goes up and down. Price of stocks go up and down. Price of the, like the value of the dollar goes up and down. Everything has subjective value if you think about it. Cards are no different, but I mean, it does have a, it does have like a defined value based on a lot of factors. Gonna have to put Soto in the good card pile. That's a pretty nasty Soto. It doesn't even look like him. Man. I like that. So many Glabers. So many. Senzel played today. He's not very good, though, is he? <laughs> Nick Senzel? Yeah, it's what someone's willing to pay. Me says money isn't real. Uh, it's it's uh, nonsense. F well, the the dollar is just nonsense fiat. The only thing that really has value is gold, because it gold and silver, because it doesn't decay. It doesn't break. Like gold is gold forever. It doesn't break down, and it actually has real world uses. Has has a use. It's been a form of currency since basically the beginning of civilization. Golden bullets, baby.
Good card pile is looking thick. Go through all these already? No. Oh, there's a pool holes rookie in here. Uh, we'll get to it. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Pool holes rookie in there. <laughs> Even food goes bad, though. Floyd fan with a five spot. So how many angels you got on your fantasy team this week? Yeah, the score is 24 to zero at top of the sixth. I don't have any angels. But as long as my opponent doesn't either, we're all good. I'm winning seven to three. Let's see if my opponent has any angels. It won't show me. Here we go. Nope, that's my team. Here we go. My opponent has Brandon Drury, who's three for five with a home run, four RBIs, and three runs scored. Yikes. No wonder he caught up. And Hunter Renfro, who's four for four with three runs and four RBIs. So, yep. Not good for me, but I'm winning seven to three. So, suck it. We got more Austin Riley's. Okay, good card pile. Julio Pablo Martinez, remember him? The one time he was top guy, one of the top guys we're looking for. Another Arias rookie. Will Smith rookie, let's go. Try to face these towards the camera a little bit better. Another Riley, another Riley, a lot of Riley's. David Fletcher stamp. It's number to 150. Goldschmidt first. Laser. 150 stamp for Senzo. Manny rookie. Pinnacle. Andrew Luck rookie. Andrew Luck rookie hanging out in the baseball box. <laughs> Paddock. More paddocks. Bieber. And there's Pujols. Ah, so if you're interested in finding a Pujols Bowman rookie out of a 2001 Bowman box, I'm going to warn you, the cards are in poor quality, poor condition, and they, they're all stuck together. Yep, this one is not in good condition. That's why it's just sitting in the rookie pile. What a bummer. At least he, he goes in the good card pile. Straight up Devers, Series 1. Reese. How many paddocks you got in your collection, Striker? Wouldn't you like to know? Ooh. Found a real good one. You ready? Studio. Arias cards ticking up as they should. So many paddocks. Garrett Cole rookie. Cease refractor. Buster Posey rookie. McCutcheon rookie. Look at Kutch, man. He looks so different. He looks like a He's not, that's not the same guy. They replaced McCutcheon sometime. That's a, that's like a, dr a drone, a droid. McCutcheon is not the same player. Oops. Might want to hang on to that one. Might want to put that in the top loader. <laughs> it's just paper, but still. Good card pile. Good card pile starting to stack up. Ozzy. Dustin May. A couple of Mays. Another Raya's. Another Raffi. 
Bueller. Astudio. There's got to be some good ones. Look at all these. These are top loaded. Got to be good, right? Maybe I should take that out of the top loader. Maybe I should take that out of the top loader. Maybe I should take that out of the top loader. These are probably all ones I need to take out. Look at these Aquinos. Oh my gosh. Nico having a decent year. Ooh, that's a nice one. X Fractor. Whoa. Sheesh. I don't know if Nico has any value, but just in case. Pretty decent Bieber. Remember Miguel Sano? Just <laughs> my Astadio collection. It's an early wander. What year is that? Oh, it's 2020. Okay, here's the Astadios. Look at that one. The red, red parallel. Oh, yeah. Mm, La Tortuga. Focus. Mm-hmm. Pink. Opening day blue. Rated rookie. Pandora. To 99. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that face. Face only a mother could love. Got the auto. No problem. You want another auto? I got it for you. You want an even better auto? I got that too. How about another one? <laughs> oh, so many Astudios. These are the kind of autos you pull when you open packs. Man, that thing's pretty bad. The top scrobe sapphire. And that's a parallel numbered to 99. Gypsy. Man, La Tortuga. Floyd fan with a $5 donation. My new dream card is the 2017 Bowman WBC card of Otani, where his name is spelled Otani. I didn't know about that. That's a, that's a good goal. I wish you all the luck on your goal of getting that card, and you're going to have to send me a pick if you get it. Paxton, thanks for the 99 cents, man. No? You don't like La Tortuga? Well, how about some more Scherzer rookies? One, two. There's like, look at, there's like three of them in this one sleeve. This is how the guy sent them to me. I bought these. Oh, there's two of them. Back to back. Couldn't be troubled to put, put them in two sleeves. Pretty pricey, those penny sleeves. Ooh, that's a nice Logan Webb. Hold on. To $4.99. Pink Bueller Cup. Look at there's multiples crammed in the same sleeve. Jeez. Could have taken them out. least you could do is take them out and put them in it like what did i do did i buy the whole set and just go meh i think i was looking for gems and didn't even bother with the paper ones this is why you got to get the pre-cut corners they just slide in so easily i just happened to grab the right number of sleeves too Should probably top load all of them at some point. All right, that concludes the rookie pile. How about I rip some packs of cards? What do you guys want me to rip? I got a bunch of 22 update. Should I rip some 22 update?
I got, here are our choices of what, what you want me to rip. I got 2019 Series 2 fat packs. I got 2019 update fat packs. I've got 2022 update every format. I've got 22 Bowman blaster boxes. Ooh, I've got some 2018 Series 2 fat packs too. I know I got to get the gold Julio still. This break is solid. Yeah, this is a solid break. I got some Otanis here that I haven't looked at in a while. Let's see if we got anything good. There might not be anything great, but I just want to double check. Peak performers. It's kind of cool. Should maybe top load that. Blue chips. Ooh, there's a rookie. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. Gallery. Ooh, look at this. Bowman's best. Oh, that's sweet too. Ooh, that's sweet. Hmm. Paxton with a nine, a dollar ninety nine. Love you. Thank you. I love you too. Me with a two. Thank you. Me with another two. Check your email. I got a huge PC card in today. Okay. Yeah, that flag one. Yeah, I think I'm going to top load that. What are these? Some judges. It's a refractor. That's a sweet one. I bought that on tops.com, I think. Cyber Weekend, 2019 Cyber Weekend. Ooh, that's the four ninety nine. Ooh, X Fractor, not even top loaded. Sweet, got a jersey. I didn't know I had a Judge jersey. That's numbered to ninety nine. Gold Judge, whoa. And another one. Inception. Some more Otani's. Ooh, jeez. That's a sick, that's a cup card. Both of those are. Glad I did this. That 18 Otani Bowman's Best sells for 150 ish in a PSA 10. Don't know how I even got that. And I don't remember opening any of that ever. It looks pretty nice, too. Where'd the cards go that I was going to potentially send away to get graded? They're gone. They're gone. 
that. I'm gonna top load that too. Okay, Otani collection. What do we decide on for ripping? Did anybody put anything in there? Update. That was the, that was the last thing. Some big money if those gem. I don't know about big money. All right, I'll get some update. What format? Hangers, blasters, retail boxes, Meyer cello packs. I think that's all I got. Choose. Yeah, I do have the 2018 series too. Maybe we do a little bit of everything. Let me put these away. I need some room on the stage. At least some of it. I got to put some of it away at least. Maybe we leave a back row. That'll work. How about this for a little spread? A little nice, nice variety of ripping. Does that look good? How do you become a hitter too? I'm already a slammer. There should be like a little dollar sign. It says show your support for striker breaks and you can join the channel. It's only $1.99. Oh, you know what? We'll do one special one too.
two more. Two blaster boxes added to the mix. You know what? All right, it's Rip Fest. I gotta do one of these too. These are just so good. What a spread. That's a nasty spread. All right, where do we start? end with the Bowman Chrome Sapphire. I kind of want to start with these. I've been itching to rip them for a while. Hit that like button. 400 people. Long stream. Everybody hanging in there. Zach says, gem on my Julio SP because of your PSA sub video. Sweet. Thanks, Zach. Thanks for the two bucks, man. Looks like a fun break, yeah. Personal break time. Ellie Atomic incoming. Ooh, I don't think I can get, I can't get an Atomic. No, I can't get an Atomic because uh, they don't come out of blasters. Just booked your trip to the national suite. Maybe I'll see you there. Any predictions? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Put it in the chat. What? In a PSA 10, what's the highest value card I'm going to get? Assuming it, send, it goes away and it gets gemmed up. Put it in the chat. What's the magic number? I'll give you an idea of some of the best cards that we can pull. So out of here, we can get an Otani rookie. Any parallel would be huge money. We can get Bat Down Acuna. Huge money. Out of here, any Acuna, Soto, or Otani, any parallel would be big money. Big, big money. Out of here, of course, Julio's, Bobby's, bunch of other guys have good value. Out of here, you can get the image variation Julio, which is fire, and it also comes in parallels. There's a ton of good stuff you can get out of here. And out of here, we could get an Ellie Auto. We can get a low numbered LA Auto out of here. So what are you thinking? Sixteen hundred dollars. Woo! Now we're talking. What's the best card you pulled today? I haven't opened anything today, so we're about to find out. Nice to see you in here, Brandon. Bat down Acuna. Padpadasha Julio. Has that been pulled? Gold Albies? I don't think they have those in here. Oh, they do. Whoa. Okay. Let's begin. I'll let you guys get your numbers in the chat. 1375. Woo! 10 grand. Oh my. Anthony's got it with like 150, I think. Like if I can get a $150 card. In a PSA 10, that'd be nice. I mean, I'm, I'm opening like, uh, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight, I don't know, $800 worth of packs here. So I better get something. What's my favorite team? My favorite team right this second, right this minute, is the Reds. But before today, no, before like two, I've been a Reds fan for approximately 
When did McLean get called up? Basically, McLean, Ellie getting called up right at that time. But before that, I mean, I'm a big Padres fan. I like a lot of, I like a lot of teams. All right, here we go. There, basically, it's there's not a lot of good stuff that comes out of here except for Otani rookies and then the bat down like the SPs. So it, there's a lot of nothing, and then you can get a hit, maybe if you're lucky, but a lot of nothing. Here's a gold, just like that. The golds are glorious too. Luke Weaver's the gold. And now it's just base Otanis. C. Runquist, thanks for becoming a hitter. You grade the heavy lumber? No, I sold it all. I sold it all raw to one one guy, Gary, I think. Saved me a lot of time. We, you know, he got a good deal. I saved a lot of time. That's about it. Parsons Productions, we are opening all an extravaganza of different kinds of cards that are all awesome. Benetron with a five gifted membership. Thank you. If you just got a green highlight next to your name, it's because you got gifted a sub from Benno. We're doing some 2018 Series 2, 2018 Update, 2022 Series 2, 2022 Bowman Sapphire, 2022 Bowman. How much did the heavy lumber? I sold a whole bunch of it for seven fifty. All the heavy lumbers and basically everything except for the Corbin Carroll Gold and the Corbin Carroll Auto. The basically I. All of the raw, like the top eight raw cards in there, the raw prices was was like seven or it was uh five hundred, and then I just everything else. So I mean, he got a good deal. Sarah finally got to watch live. Hello, what's the biggest card you've ever sold? I sold a Bobby Witt Jr. first auto green parallel PSA ten for six grand. I pulled it out of a blaster box. Is that a blue? Does it just look like that? Once again, series two, a lot of nothing. And then you hit no tiny. How much does that Drew Jones auto go for? Don't know. Do you sell it in person or online? Uh, he, he, I actually put it out there that I wanted to sell the whole lot, and he email, he emailed emailed me, and we worked it out. Which is what I'm probably gonna do from here on out because if I would have had to list all that individually, <clears throat> I could have made. If I would have sent the stuff away to get graded and list it individually, I could have made I don't know a couple grand maybe, maybe fifteen hundred, so. Give it to him for 750. He can piece it out, do what he wants with it, make sets. It's fine. It, that's the way that this game works, man. Do you want to save time or do you want a nickel and dime? Brett knows all about it. Brett knows how to wheel and deal, how to how to make the most of the cards. Sometimes it's worth it to nickel and dime, but sometimes you just don't have the time. Kyle Farmer rookie. That's a Goldschmidt SP. Ha-ha! Standworthy card number one. I gotta get I gotta get these guys off the stage. For some reason, they're cramping my vibe. I don't know why. I want to save the room for all the hits that we're gonna get here. 
Goldschmidt SP. That's a sweet card. 12 is the number. I don't know if it's an SP or an SSP. All right, we're working our way back from way in the hole. <laughs> Wong says if anyone can blow a 28 to nothing lead, it's the Angels. Yowzers. I'm refreshing. It says 25 still here. Dragon, what's up, man? It's midnight and Striker Breaks is still up. Dude, I stay up till 2, 3 in the morning every night. Sorting cards for breaks. That's why I think I'm going to start doing more day breaks. Because it gives me a bunch of time after the break to sort. And maybe I won't have to stay up so late. What's the score of this game? I don't even see. Oh, I'm sure Washington won, right? Two to nothing? Come on, Padres, wake up! Just screamed, and my daughter's probably sleeping, my wife's sleeping. There's no excuse for the Padres to score zero runs. Get real. <clears throat> Which base Otani rookie card holds the most value in five years? Might surprise you. But it's probably going to be the... It's probably going to be the update one where he's batting. The, his rookie debut. Maybe. Everybody loves that one because he's batting and there's not a lot of like base rookie cards of his like that. Most of, most of them he's pitching. The blue parallel Aaron Judge. But I could be wrong there. I don't know. People like the Bowman one where he's batting too. Bowman Chrome. Have I pulled any autos yet? No, I just started ripping, man. We've been just hanging out, answering questions, showing off my PC, just talking, hanging out. No responsibility on me. I can just chill. You send you, yeah. Um, I don't know, Dragon Man. I, I like to get it all done immediately. Sending away and getting them back, it'd take too much time, too complicated. Like, I turn off the brake and I start sorting. I want to get it done fast. Not necessarily fast, but I just want to start doing it, or else it's, it just, uh, it's a weight on my shoulders that I don't like to have there. Austin Hayes rookie. And, oh man, you can get that in an Otani numbered. I, I pulled one before. I gave it to Joe iPhone. It was a numbered Otani rookie. It's probably worth like 500 bucks or more. Alex Bregman at 299. Robles, Aaron Judge. Well, we got to get at least one Otani out of here, right? Thanks, Parson. What are you talking about, hangers or bangers? Bowman Chrome six to eight hundred in a PSA ten. Yeah, there's they're uh, they're the, the pop's not that high. The Bowman rookies batting, yeah, that's what I was. I mean, do you consider that like a base rookie though? I was when he said that, I was thinking like base flagship. But I guess a base boat, the base Bowman Chrome one where he's batting. That one's super. That's a super duper one. Rookie 
Reese Hoskins. <laughs> Ugh. The blue Reese. Busto on these packs. Sheesh. Do I have more of them? I'm ripping these until I get a base Otani. That's all there is to it. At the very least, a base Otani. Can I get a thumbs up in the chat? Yeah, the team doesn't look like they're clicking, Manny. I don't know what it is. Like, there's some kind of chemistry thing going on. And I'm not quite sure what it is. Like, it's a team full of superstars. And they, it's like the Mets. Too many personalities. Too many egos. One of these days, I'm going to pull that bat down Acuna. You hear that? Yeah. Sometimes you got to slap these packs around a little bit. Whoopsh, whoopsh. What is this? Gold? Gold something. Hold on. Hold up. Braxton. Judge. Shelby Miller. We got two golds. Blue Yelich. Pulos. I'll get one. There's those thumbs up I've been looking for. We're almost to 400 likes, too. We get to 400 likes, and you'll see an Otani. Not one second before, though. I just made you buy more cards. I thought you were broke. You can't afford the $1.99 membership, but you can afford more cards. Come on, Parson. I'm just giving you a hard time. Middle of the pack where all the magic is. Except for this one. <laughs> Nothing in this one. I don't know where the... I, I'm not super familiar with this collation, although I have ripped a bunch of these packs. I just don't remember. I don't remember like what the Otani collation is. I may remember it when I see it. Bat down PSA 10 is a G. Well, let's get him. Let's just get him. Black Divers is an Asia variation. Oh, yeah, yeah. From back in the... Yep. Yeah, you're right. For some reason, this card is triggering a memory of something like Otani collation, maybe? Maybe not. <gasps> oh! You know how much the gold Otani is worth? I, I don't. Can someone look that up for me? Should do this more often. Yeah, it's fun. But, you know, like I said, this is like, since I added that stack, now we're probably up to like $1,000 worth of cards here. So that's your donations. Help me out a lot. Put it that way. I can't do this all the time. Jesse Chavez. Look at the pathetic color of that gold. That's a pathetic gold. To 2018. Like that gold's nice. That's a really nice, vivid gold. 
I thought I had another one too. Oh, here it is. Are, did I, or are these from something else? Yeah, those are for some, from something else. What are we talking over here? Pedro, nothing there. Blue Judge, another Blue Judge. Those blue Judges are sweet. I got a bunch of them last time I ripped this. I just gave them all away. They're probably worth a bunch, especially if you get a set of them. The Otani Gold and the PSA 10 is $2,500. Maybe I should just keep ripping this stuff. Sensor pack. Look at this Alcantara rookie. Even though he's having, a, well, he's having an okay year. That's a different collation. Maybe we're on to something here. Alcantara rookie? Otani collation? What are we talking? Come on, Otani. I'm begging. I'm begging you to come, come out and play. <gasps> Ooh, there we go. There we go. I don't have this one. I don't have that Otani. Oh, that's nice. The 83. And she is looking good. She looks sharp. Got two packs. Well, I gotta rip the other ones. She looks pretty good. A little thick on top, maybe, but I don't know. Yes. Wong with a dollar ninety nine says, "Starting a good luck train." I love to see that. Thank you, Wong, for the donation. Trucking with Jeter with a four ninety nine. My Gators lost a close one today. Hopefully, they bounce back tomorrow. Go Braves! By the way. Appreciate it, trucking with Jeter. We got good vibes coming. Good luck vibes. What's this? Is that a red? Oh, that's number to 10. That is a red to 10. This is Jake Lamb, so it's like nothing, but... Wow. What a pack. Top loading that. It's not every day you pull a card number to 10. Even if it is Jake Lamb. Ronald Torres, too. That's rainbow foil. We're not really getting a lot of rainbow foils yet. Devers rookie. This is a great pack. Weird collation with Sandy Alcantara up there. Having fun opening these, actually. Although, you get a couple of bust packs in a row, and the smile turns into a frown. All right, I'm counting that. Even though I said a base Otani, that counts. When the music stops. Got to keep adding songs or else the music stops. There we go. We're still rolling. Independence Day. Goldie. LeMayhew. Hector Neris. Look how sick the Independence Days are. Tops, please take this design, gobble it up, talk about it, and do something like this again. Awesome, awesome Independence Day parallel. The best one they've ever made. Right here. So sweet. Hector Neris. Whoa. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Jeff Becker's got a monopoly on those Otani Independence Days. Where's the base, though? It's 
Still haven't hit a base. All right, last pack of these. Who's Hector Neris, a reliever? Mm-hmm. If that was Otani, I would be able to buy a car probably. <laughs> My wife needs a new car. Come on, Independence Day Otani. Decent Albies. We got another short print here. Lou Gehrig short print. Sweet. Wow. I like that. Look at how the short prints flow out of these packs. We got two of them already. <laughs> I don't have that Lou. We didn't even look at my short prints. I got a stack of short prints in my PC. Blue Judge is not that hard, I guess, to pull. Three of them already. No base Otanis. Do I just keep ripping until I hit one? Maybe. Yeah, why not? I happen to have a couple more packs right here. I bought these to do a video. But I guess we're just going to do a rip. Uh, the baseballs are autographed by Corey Kluber, Jorge Soler, Doc Gooden, and the 84 Tigers. No, Mark, I don't have any Mason Millers. Rizzo, a weird helmet. It's a weird, oh, throwback jerseys. Black Kershaw legends in the making. The blacks are more rare than the blues. Shohei, come out and play. We want Shohei to come out and play. 12-11, and there's almost 500 people in here. Hat tip to each and every one of you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We're going live, having a great time all the time. Where is Shohei? What is this? Ugh. Ben Gamble. Another judge. I mean, geez, the whole set by the end of this? Oh, dude, the golds. Golds are easy. Where are the foils? We got one rainbow foil out of all that? I mean, I don't want any foil. I want the golds. We got four or five golds already? Another blue judge? It's not a short print. Hey, where is it? Um, I hope someone didn't like figure out which packs had Shoei in them. You were worried you would miss the rip? No worries, my friend. Two bros is watching from two accounts. Yes. Do you like the later night PC break streams? When I can do it, yeah. I like all all of all the PC breaks and streams and I like every all of this. So it's just it's a matter of like when I can do it. Which my wife's gotta work in the morning, so I should probably get to sleep sometime, but I'm not really feeling it right now. I'm not feeling sleep at all. Alcantara, another one. Remember what happened last time there was an Alcantara? It was a good pack. Let's see if that holds true. This one's got a rainbow foil in it. Gary Kepler. <gasps> oh, 
but it's a pool hole, so that's good, right? I'll take that. We're getting so close. We got two angels, two gold angels. Oh, I think we're on the. I think we're on the verge. We're right on the verge. Oh. Oh. Cardo with a five dollar strike. What does one of those packs cost these days? I don't know. I don't know. Too much. We could look it up. Should we look it up? This should build up to a huge Otani hit. Yeah. I think it should. Let me look it up. I wonder if you can find them at Blowout even. I don't know how long ago I bought those packs. I bet you can't even find them. It's not like they have these packs floating around everywhere. Yeah, they don't even have them on Blowout. Um, <clears throat> a hobby, well. A hanger pack. I'm being real frivolous with these. These are expensive. A hanger pack costs $149. A hanger box, $149. Yeah, I'm being real frivolous with these. Oh, well. Otani camo incoming. We're looking for that bat down too. Although rumor has it bat down comes out of, isn't it hobby boxes? More often. Weird collation here. This might be the Otani. <laughs> Keep thinking. Maybe it's not weird. Another judge. Another gold, guys. The golds are coming out of these packs. Good lord. <gasps> Woo -hoo -hoo! The blue legends in the making. That's a PC card. That is crisp. That is a crisp, sharp, beautiful. Yes. Okay, we got two different ones. I wasn't really expecting these. 83. Look at it. We're doing okay. Doing good. Put them up here, I think. Look at all this stuff. Two short prints, an Independence Day, gold Pujols, two Otanis, and this is number to 10. Whoa, Cardo. Dropping a 50 spot. That'll keep me going. Dang, 149. Well, here's a portion. Good luck. That is a huge super chat, and I appreciate that, man. That's going to go a long way. It's going to go a real long way to taking care of me. Whew. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what these cost, but the hanger boxes, which are usually only a little bit more, maybe twice as much as these. I can't imagine these are more than like 35 bucks a piece, maybe. I don't know. That is a super duper chat. Corrado crushing. Wow. You know, it's it's people like you that keep me doing this. It's really fun, but it's really expensive. What do we got here? <gasps> I know what that is. No way. Pujols SP. Is that the... That's a regular SP. Dude, it's a Pujols kind of day. That's sharp, too. These cards are in good condition. 
12's regular. Yeah, 12's regular. Okay. These are fun, a lot funner than I thought. I think last time I, I must have opened like 40 of these or something. And it was all right, but I feel like this is much better. Could you imagine like one hobby box? One hobby box of this is $450. And you're not going to get anything close to what we pulled out of one hobby box. Angels. Yeah, a lot of angels. I'll hunt pools all day, too. I mean... <laughs> the goat another blue judge put him in the pile back to the pile We're going back to the pile. No SP on the back. No, there's no SP written on the back of those. That's fine. Whatever it takes. I'll say whatever it takes. I don't recognize the Adam Eaton collation or Ryan Sheriff. Judge. Eh? Hmm. These have got to go. Black Judge. First Black Judge. I cannot believe we haven't got one base Otani. We'll just take a we'll just take like a a gold instead. David Adams has a 12 count for 299. So 25 a piece. Seems like a pretty good deal. Another Independence Day. Another Independence Day. Please. Please. Please be Otani. Please be Otani. Please be Otani. Please be Otani. It's the Dard Span. I can't believe we got two Independence Days. I've never been more disappointed in my life. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be him. God, the dart throws are... Um, Dart throws are spectacular. Okay, that's it. That's it for those. It's a pretty good spread. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, but we're, we're going to keep going because there's a lot more. Should we just go with this or should we save that? We got a lot of update. Still looking for that gold Julio. Let's go this route. 
2022 hangers. Hangers are bangers. You hanging out still? 516. How is it possible that we're just getting more and more people in here as it, get, as it grows later? Can you paste Wander onto that one? Yeah. Have any 2020 Bowman to open? No. But we got some 22 update. And we're going to be ripping these soon. And we're off. I can go through these a lot quicker. Backwards card? Is that an auto? Nah. Nah. It's probably a blue. No. Black McCutcheon. To two ninety nine. Rinky, rainbow. It's a nice pack, man. Look at it. three parallels in this pack. Sheesh. Julio debut. My wife's working on putting more update sets together. Dude, look at this. We got Bobby, true Bobby. We had a, we had a debut in there too. Oh my, oh dude. Dude. Lodolo. Oh. What? You know how many of these I've opened? We got the entire we got the full spread. Hold on, look at this. Where is he? I swear I saw a Bobby debut. There he is. We got the full spread! And three hits. Bobby debut. Julio true. Wander debut. Julio debut. And the Bobby true. That's insanity. Brett, you've opened up a hundred of these. Thousand, hundred thousand of them. How often do you see that? The full spread. Otani Independence Day pitching PSA 10 went for $11,000 in April. Yeah, I should probably just buy $11,000 worth of those packs. Just keep pulling it. Just to keep trying. Julio Gold. That's the second. I still haven't pulled it out of all of this. All of this I've opened. Never pulled the Gold Julio. What do you suggest beginners rip? 22, 2023 Series 2. Start there. Get a Corbin Carroll. Start there. Suzuki rookie. Chrome Bruhan. What is this? What do we have here? Backwards. What could this be? It's a weird spot. Oh, I know what it is. Is it a blue? Yep. No. What? That's a normal generation now Suzuki. Flipped around in a weird spot. These hanger boxes came from Meyer. And they've been sitting on the shelf for a little bit. Quite a bit. Long bit. Yeah, Jen Nawa, but I, I thought it would be like a blue. Flipped around. It, almost no matter what it was, was going to be kind of like Meh. Oh, 
Uh oh, my wife's up. I wonder if I woke her up. She got to get up at like four in the morning. Are you buying Julio? Is his prices lower? I have every Julio <laughs> corp. I was showing off my Julio collection earlier. It's outrageous. Hangers or bangers? You know, you know it. Julio's starting to heat up again. You watch. He's going to finish the season. If he gets like another five war season, which he will, he'll probably have another five plus war season. That's through two seasons, having like a 12 war is crazy good. So you watch his market will heat back up again. I'm not in any hurry to sell Julio stuff. I'm not in, I'm in, I'm not in any hurry to sell anything right now. You, you buy when the market's low and you sell when the market's high. Everything ebbs and flows. We will go back eventually into an up. Individual players go up and down too within that. But don't like don't get all scared when markets down and be like, I gotta liquidate everything. That's the worst mistake. I regret it. There's another Bobby. I don't even need to set these aside. Like I said, my wife's making sets, so dude, look at this. Julio debut, Bobby De This is another one of those. Wander debut. Another one of those boxes. Oh, CJ Abrams SP. Nice. I got the SSP and the SP now. Now we just need CJ to start playing like a big boy. That's sweet. Rookie SPs, baby. Look at this box, too. We got another parallel. We got a chrome. Oh, Miranda Blue, rookie color, and Ramos, rainbow foil. Dude, these boxes. I forgot how awesome they are. Julio Stars. Let's see if we get the full spread again. No. Nope. Wild. Yeah, CJ has a high ceiling for sure. Definitely. One of the top prospects. Remember, he was like way up there. His stuff was selling for real high before he came up. Julio looking like he'll be better than Julio. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I said that the other day. He might be better than Julio. But you're comparing, you're comparing a small sample size Corbin Carroll at his at his peak right now of does a you know, I, I, can he keep doing this? I don't know. And then you're comparing him to Julio, who's like having a, like a, yeah, honestly having like a pretty good season, but not like his batting average is lacking a little bit. So great boxes for under 122 tops Chrome update. They're like 60 bucks a box. Hobby box. Buy your cards off blowout all over the place, Jacob. Blowout, Steel City, Dave and Adams. Usually they're all about the same price. They're all tied in together. I swear they have some kind of like Steel City and Dave and Adams seems like they're just connected to the blowout website and they change your prices the same day. You can actually look. Um, there's an aggregate site. I can't remember what it's called. I'll find it. Wax stat. And you can type in like whatever and it'll tell you what the prices of the wax is. Goes up and down and it'll show you like they all change their prices on the same day. It's like, okay. Collusion. What is this? Another backwards? Then another SP? No, nope. Cole Irvin green. Look at that color match. Torkelson, Chrome, Sawinski. Rainbow Foil, Sawinski rookie. The Kid, Jordan. And I'm always looking for that Soto SP. Someone sent it to me in the mail. I finally got one. But out of all the stuff I've opened, I never got the Soto SP. Now we're on to blaster boxes. 
Step in the box with a 499. Make flagship great again. Bring back SPs. Thanks for opening. This is fun to watch. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, I agree. Bring bring back the standard SPs. How about layers of them? Can we have layers of short prints? So you got your base cards. You got your standard short prints that are fairly easy to pull. You got your SSPs that are quite difficult to pull. And then maybe you got the golden mirrors, which are like the SSSSPs. Why can't we do that? Let's have all the layers. It's fun. It's collectible. We need more cards that are collectible to try to get our to try to get back back to the baseline. Think Michael Harris market will go up? Yeah, it's already starting to tick up. I think because he's one of the top players right now. Last fifteen days, at least, he's crushing. Yeah, Bowman Spotlight's awesome, Philly. I just pulled out Ellie De La Cruz. Corbin Carroll, it's an amazing checklist for the spotlights. I'm going to send a bunch off to get great. I don't know. I haven't looked into it at all, but I need to find out what a PSA 10 looks like so that I can compare it to some other spotlight cards and send them away. Do you have a video on how to identify an SP? Well, no, but you can just flip it around, flip the card around backwards. And there's a little number down here. So the base is 41 and the SP, the last two numbers are 59. And then 60 is the SSP, super short print. But then you also get the eye for it after a while and you just know by looking. Blue Strom, Blue Strom. And here's our first black gold, O'Neill Cruz. This is a thin pack. Maybe it just feels thin because that last one was so thick. Imagine if they had a ultra short print in 22 update with Wander, Julio, and Bobby. Yeah. Remember we thought that they would. Everybody's speculating, speculating on it. You saw a Corbin Spotlight sell for 75. I have to have multiples in my collection. I opened up a lot of that stuff. I know I have at least one, but that's a great way to nickel and dime your way back. Plus, I imagine a lot of people are going to send those off, not really knowing about centering and stuff. So, what is this? Oh, Luke Rayleigh. Come on, Julio. You're, you just don't want to come out and play with me. I don't know why. What product's going to have Tom Brady first? I think it's Bowman Draft. I think they're going to put his firsts in Bowman Draft, if I recall correctly. What do I do with my Tati slabs? I just don't know. I kept all mine. He's on. He's incredible. He, like... I don't think it can happen, but he might have the stats at the end of the year to win MVP. I don't know that they'll give it to him. I don't think they can give it to him. Just, you know why? But he, just look at what he's doing. Missing a month. His stats are among the best in the league. Missing a month. Yeah, I saw that, Manny. Julio Homer today. Stole a base, too. Will you show your Bobby PC? Um, I think I, did I put it all away? I think I put everything. Yeah. I, it's all kind of put away now. There's Julio. But my Bobby PC isn't that crazy. Although I have a bunch of my Bobby stuff for sale. I'm keeping, cause I went through today and I kind of took some cards out of my, slab collection because I'm it's gotten to the point where I filled all the slots in my gigantic slab case and there's like a stack of 10 cards sitting on top and my rule is I can only keep as many cards as I can fit in that container in that big case so I'm going to get rid of a couple bobbies 
I'm going to keep the SP, mullet SP. I'm going to keep the, the gold. I've got the gold Bobby. But I'm going to sell the rainbow foil. I don't want to. But, like, it gets out of control. I got to I gotta slim up. It's like, if I don't, then I'm, it's, out of, it's just, it's not good. Another hanger, or another blaster. Any guaranteed auto boxes? Nope. Not today. But I am going to make a video for tomorrow. Opening up a jumbo 20, 2022 Bowman looking for Ellie. So be prepared for that, all 500 of you in here, and hit that like. Can we get to 500 likes? We're almost there. There's Bobby. What slab case? called case club are you gonna put any bow cards on the site I think I've got bow cards up on the eBay store let me drop a link too I haven't dropped links in a while here's my eBay store check it out also if you're feeling like it, check me out on kick. Give me a sub on kick. I want to get the subs up on kick. I only got like eight subs out over there. I just opened up the account the other day. And rumble. Starting to build up a little following on rumble. Little, little by little. Just got to keep grinding, man. Do you want to get in on a break sometime? You want to support the channel? Consider joining the Patreon crew. And a big one. I put a lot of time developing the graphics for these shirts. A lot of time and money went into this. And they're really cool. Look at this one. How bad is that shirt? Freddie Freeman. You know, I, I opened it, what, a case? At least at one whole case of Blaster Boxes Plus. I probably opened by now a case and a half. <clears throat> and 95, 99% of these have been nothing. But I did hit the big boy. The Julio Auto. Would you buy a Corbin Spotlight Rookie for five bucks? I mean, I've got a bunch of them, so no. But if I didn't have any, maybe. Raw, completely uncensored striker rumble streams. Maybe. That'd be fun, where I can swear and do other things. Luke Williams. Look at this pack. A gold and a rainbow foil. Ooh, I'll take that, Spencer. Raph Devers. I'll take that torque right there. That's nicely centered. I might send that to the grade shop. I live in Michigan. Torkelson's, you know, a thing. Yeah, the Ellie Red went for 32 grand. Willie, that box was sitting on my shelf for probably a year and a half. That Tatis was sitting on my shelf for a year and a half. And it's like a dream card for me. But that's the that's it is what it is, man. I mean, it's, I don't, like, I'm not, if I pull a big card for somebody, it's, I'd never 
I never go like, oh, that could have been mine. That's not how this game works. It's like, that's theirs. It was never mine. Just because it was the, just because it was sitting on a shelf doesn't mean it was like gonna be mine or something. If I happen to like grab it off and rip it for myself or something, maybe. But I've ripped a lot of 20, 2019 update in my day. Never hit anything close to that. Not many people have. Mm -hmm. Sitting there that whole time. That's one of the questions that people ask me all the time. Like my friends, like IRL people, you know, that I know in real life. They're like, what if you, what if you open up like a, like a huge card for somebody? Don't you? I'm like, no, no, I don't care at all. Like, it's great. I love it for the other people. I'm glad to pull people good stuff. I don't consider it like a like something that I missed out on really. Two of these. Come on, baby. Come on, Ellie. What are the odds? What are the odds we get an Ellie auto out of here? How long have you had the 2011 update box? I don't know. Not that long. At least a year. At least a year or so. Maybe two. I don't remember when I bought it. Probably a year plus. Yeah, but Will, man, this is what I do. I got wax all over the place. I've got... I, I don't need to open anything ever. When you do it for a living, it's a little bit different. B -b -b Busto. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be in business long if I just ripped everything that was around me. Oh, sweet plumber man. Wow, nothing in here. Come on. Come on. Let's get hot. Time to get hot. Two more chances in this box. You have any good Will Smith cards? You know, I had a Will Smith. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a Will Smith rookie refractor autograph I pulled it back in 2019 sent it away gemmed it up but I sold it thanks Will wander That was like the driest box I've ever seen of this stuff. Brett's opened up a lot of this. He knows he knows how 22 Bowman blasters work. When it rains, it pours. And when it don't, it's a bummer. Like this one might have three hits in it. Last one had none. Yeah, Will Smith's, he might be the best catcher in the league. Uh, Adley's got something to say about that, actually. He's cheap. Have a Harris golden mirror. How do you got so many golden mirrors? Didn't you have that last golden mirror, too? Uh, I don't know, man. There's, there's a lot of factors that go into that. What's the condition? Does it look like a gem? If it looks like a gem, send it off, man. If it doesn't look like a gem, maybe sell it. Or if it's like really bad, just hold on to it for your PC. 
But you're gonna want to hold. You're gonna want to sell Harris. Like he's he's heating up right now. So now might be a good time. Look at this. We got something good in here. Keep your eye on the market real close right now. With Harris. There's a Wood. James Wood first. Pretty good. What do we have here? Colton Kowser. I'll take that to 299. And Julio. Julio Chrome. How's he looking? Looking all right. A little thick on top. What's up, Saul? JT better than Murphy and Smith. Um, it's hard to compare catchers because there's so many different attributes that they can have. JT's amazing, but he's he's definitely on the same level as Will Smith. They're both they're both right there. They're both really good. They do things a little bit differently. JT tends to hit for a better, well, Will Smith hits for a good average too, but you can't lose with either of them. Ellie's cycle was insta explosion. Yeah, but since the cycle, things haven't, like, he's done, the cycle is just like a cherry on top, man. He's crazy good. The whole city, look at, I told you, we got two hits in this box. I just, I just said this. You have a bust box, and then your next next box can have three hits in it. Here's a here's a double at least. Velasquez, tons of firsts. The cycle is just a cherry on top, because the wax wax has pretty much stayed the same since since the cycle, but it's only been a day. And wax moves slower than singles prices. Chirillo's, yeah, Chirillo's stuff's already expensive, but he's the next guy who's going to come up that's going to like light the MLB on fire. He's so good and young. And he plays in a hitter's ballpark. So, so does Ellie. That's the thing that like you get a Rocky that comes up, a young Rocky rookie or something, and people are just like, and he starts knocking the ball all over the place. People are like, yeah, it's course. But nobody says anything about anybody like that plays for the Reds hitting in the great American ballpark or or Miller. Both of those ballparks are spectacular for hitters. I don't even know if they're named that anymore. Miller changed their name, didn't they? Sean Murphy, dude, Philly. Sean Murphy was on the waivers early in the league, and I tried to pick him up. Somebody waved him. I tried to pick him up, and someone beat me to it. Look at this. We got an auto. This is a ceiling box. Told you. Justice Thompson. Ceiling, ceiling box. <laughs> Always get two. If you're going to open 22 blasters. Always open to. Okay, we're winding down. The two best boxes. Bowman Chrome Sapphire. And 2018 update. Thanks for being here, guys. 516 in the house. Let's get to 500. We're at 483 likes. Hit the like if you haven't yet. Do you know if there's any Ellie parallels for under 10? No, not even close. Ellie PSA 10s are like the, like the least is like $600. You show us your best PC card. Yeah. It's one of these two, I think. Green Tatis Bowman Chrome Rookie to 99 or the Ronald Acuna Jr. Bowman Chrome Rookie Auto PSA 10. 
One of these two. parallels yeah they've been expensive for a while like when there's a guy of his stature of his standing like that good everybody knows it you can just tell everybody knows now they don't all pan out like 99% of them flop check your Walgreens step in the box says check your Walgreens boys people are finding 22 Bowman and Megas okay great info Saul with a dollar ninety nine sticker chat. Thank you, my friend. Okay, these things are always winners. <laughs> They're always winners. Watch. You watch. The Doolittle box. I don't know if you are familiar with what that means. But in a couple cards, you're about to see a goodie. I don't know. Well, the collation just flipped, so maybe not. Oh, wait. Here's Hicks, right? Oh, no. Gomber here. Here, here we go. Yep. It's one of those Soto boxes. Ichiro and Soto. I told you. They're all winners. How's she looking? Crisp. Wait, there's more. I don't know if there's more, but there's probably more. There's always more. That means Acuna too, I think. They're always winners. I know this collation so well. I ran out of I ran out of top loaders. Careful. Easy. Easy does it. Let me clear some space. How long have we been at this? I don't even know when I started. I just I just fired up the live stream kind of randomly. How many more? How many more? Like, let's just get a gold or a, like something. Look, we got a relic in here too. They're all winners. Oh, we got a gold. Come on, be a big gold. Be a big boy. Nope, I knew I was going to be a guardian. Saw that C. All smiles with Lindor. What a box. And a rainbow. An Acuna, Soto, gold, rainbow foil. Here comes a relic. Let's keep it going. What is this? What is this? The heck is this? Oh, Mookie. Event worn. He wore this at the All-Star game. That's sick. <laughs> Are you kidding? Can you imagine? Can you imagine having like 50 grand back in 2018 when these boxes were just 10 bucks and buying them all? Jeez. How about how about a debut now? Let's get both debuts while we're at it. Back half usually has the debuts. <laughs> we 
we're at 500 likes. Can we get the other one? Can we get the Acuna too? Usually it's just one, but. <laughs> God, I love those packs. Come on. Let's go, Acuna. How about Otani? Mmm. What a box. Gold rainbow foil. Relic. Acuna Soto Soto debut one hanger box all right last but not least certainly not least expensive expensive box Do you think 2018 update is good to hold long term? Yes. Yes. Especially. The prices are pretty cheap right now. They're pretty cheap relative. They're cheaper than they've been in years, I think. The problem is the base cards, you know, the base cards have immense populations. Some of the biggest populations of all cards ever graded are right here. That's the only problem. But if they both end up being Hall of Famers, including Otani debuts that have him batting and the debuts of Acuna Soto and Glaber's in there, um, this could be the best set of all time. Unless you go back to the 52. Every one of these is a winner too, by the way. All these boxes, W. One way or another, there's a lot of ways to win. Let's figure out what how we're gonna win. Like a like a Julio Sapphire. These are Sapphire. All the base cards have value. Cabrera. Just a bunch of firsts of guys that who knows could be great, right? What if a couple of the guys firsts that are in here end up taking off what if one only one it this stuff is fire right now and there's nobody who's okay uh vaqueros in here but like nobody's like super big on the prospect oh look at this we got an orange oh don't be a pitcher rookie george kirby rookie 11 of 75 kirby's legit Take that, and we'll send them right to the upgrade shop. I don't care if it's George Kirby. I like George Kirby. I don't like a lot of pitchers, but I do like Kirby. Throw strikes. Matt Manning. W. Still going strong, Steve. This is the last box, man, and I'm calling it a night. I got to get up early. Daddy duty tomorrow. All day. And I got to make that video. I'm going to be opening up a 22 jumbo. 22 Bowman jumbo searching for Ellie. Kyle Tucker. I want an image variation. I don't know if I've pulled one out of here. Have I even done? I don't know if I've opened any of this for my PC. This might be the first box. Maybe I did one. Here's a thicky. See him? Royce Lewis rookie. He's playing. Here we go. Cunha? Oh, hello. Take that. See what I mean? Immaculate checklist. Think about it in this terms, in these terms. 
if you open up a a sapphire box of 2022 Topps Chrome Sapphire or 2022 Topps Chrome Update Sapphire, most of the cards are scrubs. Vast majority are scrubs. But the checklist in this, most of the players are, it's the best rookies and stars. And firsts. And people were down on it initially. They're like, eh, 22 Bowman Chrome, not that good because it doesn't have any autos in it. You're welcome, Eric. Thanks for being here. Sushi Boy's got a Boston Red Sox hat. Yeah, me too. You want to see it? I love that City Connect. I like, I like those colors. The Red City Connect is sweet too. Look at Bryce. Look at the checklist. Goldschmidt, Bryce, top prospect. Wood, top prospect. Boom, Sweeney. Okay, we're going to need to do better. Kind of a bus pack. Pulled a rookie Contreras. Nice. Sam says, Kirby has the best command I've seen since Maddox. He has amazing command. If you watch him pitch, which I have, pinpoint. It's, you just watch him and the ball goes exactly where he wants it most of the time. It's awesome. though. He's a great pitcher to watch. Angel. Can only be Trout or Otani, right? Woo! 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 Look at that beautiful sapphire, Mike Trout, twenty-seven of fifty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about now? Look at look at these three hits. We got three, three parallels, and they're both they're all good. Good Lord. This stuff is crazy good. Hunter Green. That's a sick Hunter Green rookie. Gonna take care of that. Wow. Okay. Here it is. Last pack. Corbin has four war already. Yeah, he's going to have like eight war by the end of the season. He's going to have the highest rookie war in a long time. Oh, is that a jersey match? 27. Yeah. Man, that's a sick card. Trout collector. I'll eat that up. Last pack. Do we get another? No. Three parallels is all you get, Striker. Chris Bryant. Soto. <laughs> Sapphire Soto. No big deal. Blaze. 22 Bowman Chrome for the win. Well, you guys want to see the good hits? Let's do it. Got this Hunter Green. Juan Soto debut. All of this came out of one box. This all came out of one box. Plus a gold and a rainbow foil, I think. Mookie Relic. Acuna Rookie. Soto Rookie. Soto Rookie debut. We got the George Kirby to 75, rookie Sapphire, Acuna to 99. Beautiful. Look at those. Both look pretty good, too. Pulled this out of a blaster. Justice Thompson. First auto. Diego Velasquez to 399, Colton Kowser to 299. Got a gold Torkelson too. Gold Torkelson debut. Look at this sick Pujols SP. Love that. Great photo. Ended up with two Shohei's, two rookie Shohei's in the blue. 
This is a card I actually wanted to buy. The Blue Otani Legends in the Making. It's not a super expensive card. I just really like the parallels of these. I've got Soto, Acuna, and now I got Otani. And we got a gold, another gold pools. Not another, but we got a gold pools. We'll take it. It's got value. Short print, CJ Abrams. Two Independence Days out of Fat Packs. Gorgeous cards. Love the Independence Days from 2018. Spectacular design. I can't get enough of them. Lou Gehrig short print. Paul Goldschmidt short print. And a Jake Lamb number to 10. Pretty nice haul. We got some other stuff too that I didn't even... Trevor Rogers. Oh yeah, that was from the first edition to 150. That was from the, the, the box. We got a McCutcheon numbered to 299. Jeez, I didn't even... Cole Irvin numbered to 499. Ramos, some rookie parallels. A whole bunch of other stuff. Sawinski, rainbow foil. All kinds of goodies today. Well, this was a, a great success tonight. Tons of people in here having a good time. I hope I could answer a whole bunch of your questions. The hot B. The hit of the break? I don't know. What, what is the hit of the break? Probably that. Probably that? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe probably that? I mean, any of these sapphires? I don't know. There's nothing like huge, huge that came out of here, but this is a typical mixer, you know, with just a bunch of retail, except for the sapphire. This is all retail stuff. Gold pools is awesome. So is that, that short print. I don't know what that runs, but it's got to be a $100 card and a 10, right? Pretty good stuff. Pretty happy with it. I don't know what else I could expect, really, other than like a parallel Otani coming out of those fat packs. Maybe a gold Julio or something, I guess. I mean, it's, it's a long shot coming out of the update, 22 update. Didn't really open that much. Most of it was just showing off the PC, hanging out. Roman with a 999 coming in at the very end. I pulled a Justin Crawford Jr. glove die cut to 50 from Bowman 23. I haven't seen any videos of breakers pulling die cuts online. No, I've never seen that. No, that's a crazy card. Haven't seen anybody pull it. Haven't pulled it myself and I've opened... 15 cases. So, yeah, that's a rare one. We got a lot of likes. A lot of people in the house tonight. Check out my video tomorrow. Opening up a 22 Bowman Jumbo. Thanks for watching. I will catch you 